No, you are correct. It's not exactly two o'clock. I'm four minutes late. Just takes me that long to shower, I guess. Hydrate. Today I'm playing more Pokemon White and the Long Dark a bit later. Uh, and not really relevant, but the Microsoft E3 presentation's at 4. So I may talk about that while it's happening. The Bethesda one, the one people actually give a shit today, is at like 9.30 EST. So a couple hours away. I may not be able to stream tonight because I'll be out of the house. But, I will discuss that whenever my next stream is. If not tonight, then, then tomorrow. Just making sure everything's working now. Hello. Hi. Bo. Uh, I'm gonna need one more second before I can actually start playing the game. Listen to the soundtrack. Save to slot three. Thank God. Me typing out on Twitter is fucking with the, with the, uh, game. There. Anyways, yeah. Hi. Now I gotta get this off the screen, so. Hold on. More early streams? I mean, it's not like, necessarily constantly in the schedule, but yeah, I usually try to get a couple early ones through the week. Alright. Back in business. Where I last left off, I... got the first two badges, and now I need to... go track down... people who stole fossils for some reason. I wouldn't figure fossils would even sell for that much, but I guess they do. This leads to Pinwheel Forest. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, we might have trouble. I have Tepig as a starter. So... Whatever the middle name is. It has a nickname, I don't know what it is. What its real name is, that is. Well, you'll see. There are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight and the path that winds through the woods. I'll take the straight road. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Will you please, uh, let me assume, that's, that's through all the tall grass and trainers, right? Yeah, you take the easy route up the road. Fucking dickhole. If anything, what do you want to see at E3? Well, the things that I know are happening at E3 I want to see is today Bethesda is probably talking about Rage 2 and Fallout 76. I was interested in those. I don't think Microsoft really has anything I care about. Uh, Nintendo, obviously. Any Smash news. And other than that, I don't know, surprise me. You have 85 viewers. I don't need to know how many viewers I have. I prefer to not know. But thanks for randomly saying that in chat. What are these? Sea waddles? Are they like sentient pieces of lettuce? Learn Heat Crash. It's a good. It's good as Embroar. Is a happy, heavy Pokemon. Oh, you worded that weird. Also, train a dark type for Elite Four. Take your word for it. I'm hoping for Doom 2. We're not getting Doom 2. That'd be cool. I'm, I'd be happy to see more installments in the Doom... in the Doom 2016 franchise. But, given that they're working on 76 and Rage 2, it doesn't really... I feel like... I wouldn't expect them to... put developer focus into a Doom 2 right now. Restart the game and pick Snivy. <laughs> no.
Last night, I was like looking through some of my VODs just because I, I like stroking my ego and making sure audio is fine. And honestly, some of you fucking dudes in chat are hilarious. Like there are things that I miss while I was streaming. I was playing the, the Titty Mahjong during the Rum Royale and I missed a comment where someone's like, make sure to backwards B-hop to get extra points on, on the uh, matches. And I just laughed my ass off for two minutes. So. Respect for that. Kill your teammate. Blarts kind of needs to be put down. Initiate an accelerated back hop away from the log cabin. Do you think USA should ban loot boxes in games since it's considered gambling? I think there should be... What's the word? Re regulations in place. Maybe harder regulations? I don't think they should ban loot boxes though. Loot boxes can work. If it's done in a non-shitty way. Just a lot of companies do it in a shitty way. Up on regulation of it, I suppose. But, honestly, I wouldn't even know where to start with actual regulation of that. Because what can you do? You can minimize randomization in loot boxes and the, the gamble factor. But, you know, it's like, I, I was never annoyed by, like, unusuals in TF2 or anything. So, if you were to crack down on regulating gambling for good items, that would... Go, that would go down the line of like making unusuals illegal essentially or at least the current distribution of them so whatever they do they just they need to steer gaming because here's the thing if you ban loot boxes there's just going to be something else right they're going to find another fucking loophole so if loot boxes can work just focus on steering everything in that direction where it's purely cosmetic and you can still get a lot of the good items without loot boxes. That's kind of the system they should probably focus on. Overwatch has a decent system where you don't have to get loot boxes to get items. It's still really annoying to get items if you don't just buy a bunch of loot boxes. But it, there's the option there. You aren't shit out of luck. You gotta pay $20 out of pocket to get... I was about to say, to get a Mercy skin, but then I remembered technically the Breast Cancer Awareness one was exactly that. But I think that's a fair exception. I think I can give Breast Cancer Awareness Mercy skin a pass. A lot of people I've seen in chat as I've played this have said it's like their favorite Pokemon game. Which, I guess makes me happy I'm finally getting around to playing it. Rollout. I mean, I honestly haven't really used defense curl. Fuck it. Loot boxes should only be a thing if direct purchase skins are also available. Direct purchase? Do you mean purchasable with in-game currency or purchasable with money? Because I don't think making items purchasable without loot boxes through money makes them okay. It's an alternative, but... It's ignoring the issue, which is getting kids into gambling and spending way too much money. My, my, could you be looking for something? I guess. Then five set of Pokemon were rad. Are you gonna sit here and tell me that having another fire fighting is rad? Everything else, yeah. It seems pretty rad so far. <laughs> And I guess I'm using the firefighting, so can I really complain? I guess to harken back to someone asking what I'd like to see at E3, I'd like to see some, like, at least... I don't expect any major news for Pokemon RPG, but I'd like to see them throw a bone on, like... Doesn't even have to be big, just, like, flash a logo or something. I feel like that'd be... It'd make me happy. Won't happen, but it would make me happy. 
or Animal Crossing. Never played an Animal Crossing game, but I'm I'm absolutely on board for getting a Switch game. I'd happily play it, and I support anyone who wants that. F Zero. It's, there was like a, a Reddit post earlier today, I think, of someone who zoomed out on... I think it was like the F-Zero track in Mario Kart or something. And there was just a shit ton of detail in the level outside of the actual playable track. And someone commented like, Mario Kart 8's just a tech demo for the new F-Zero. Wouldn't that be great? I didn't play much Metroid either, but given, like, the amount of fun I've had with Metroidvanias the last few weeks, I get down with that, too. Let's Go looks like fucking shit. Visually, or just as a game? Visually, it's about what you would expect. Like a, like a nice, glossy-looking Switch Pokemon game. As a game, I'm not bothered by it. Like, I've been over this. It, it's it's a very casual Pokemon game. It's not something you're going to be dropping dozens of hours into post-game. But I think as a tide over to, like, the big Pokemon Switch game, it's fine. You know, multiplayer Pokemon Yellow is basically what it is. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You want to know why the FCR stage was on 3DS? Because it's dead like the 3DS. Ow. Fucking harsh. Listen to Justin RPG's Mary Teresha Ram for maximum immersion. I guess I can keep it uh, bookmarked for later in the game, right? Pokemon Let's Go Wait for 2019 for an actual Pokemon game. Yeah, that's kind of my overall opinion. Can't wait. Let's Go could have been a real Pokemon game. Could it really, though? Like, I, Pokemon Let's Go to my... I mean, this is just me, like, assuming. I, it's not fact. But it seems like it's fair to say that the Let's Go team probably isn't the core Pokemon team. Or at least, like, it wasn't their main focus. If they put a lot of focus into making Let's Go a great game, Pokemon RPG would be pushed back another year. Or worse, not even happen. I guess Let's Go could have been the game, but... Then we wouldn't be getting it this year, you know? Plus, like, Switch was... Switch was sort of rocky at its start. People were... Didn't know what to expect, so... It makes sense that they needed to, like, give the, the console a year or two to, before really committing to, like, moving off of the, the DS market. Saying instead of Let's Go, they could have just made a regular Pokemon game. The thing is, Let's Go is a regular Pokemon game in almost every way, except you don't fight wild Pokemon. And maybe one or two other gimmicky things. But otherwise, it is. You catch Pokemon and battle them. It takes place in, in Kanto, I suppose. So, I don't know. I'm not bothered. I'm going to a summer camp in the woods for a week, which means I won't get to watch your streams for a week. Don't forget me. I'll just yell really loud and open my window. Maybe you'll hear. If we all look at the sun, we'd be looking at the same thing. You should do that. Go outside and stare at the sun. That sounds great. Sounds like a good idea. I was deciding whether I wanted to fight him or not, but I need to train. I need to train more than just my pig, honestly. Wouldn't this be the first Pokemon game that would be technically on a home game system? The first main Pokemon game, not the first Pokemon game. Gale of Darkness DX, or XD. XD Gale of Darkness is a home console Pokemon game. It's just not a main, main game, I guess. 
I don't have an XP share yet, but if I get one, it'd make it easier. The original Gen 1 games for the Game Boy are the objectively worst Pokemon games? Objectively, yeah. That's because it had a lot of issues. Like, it had a lot of bugs. Where... I think certain attacks where you're supposed to take damage after using it would only do like one damage. There's just like examples of shit like that that just wasn't working. So yeah, Gen 1. But like, what do you gain from calling Gen 1 objectively the worst? When people say they love Gen 1 the most, they aren't saying it's the objectively best Pokemon game. They, they say it's like the most enjoyable. Which is up for debate. But object... Objectivality is not, you know. Opinionality, which I'm sure isn't a word, is a different discussion. If Valve was making a TF2 movie and they asked you to work on it with them since you can do SFM well, would you take it? Yes. And then I would take all the flack when it looked like ass. I don't know why Valve would be asking me. But I really have no reason to say no. I just animate the whole thing like Funk TV. And it would just be like a whole market of moviegoers. Like, what? Why is the frame rate 3? Get great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. This guy's calling me a git too. That is the strength of rangers. Show you to make fun of my heritage. Game Boy wasn't bad for its time. That's why I don't feel like it's fair to shit on original gen games for being objectively bad. They were the first Pokemon games. They didn't have any issues to work off of. There wasn't even really that many games. There was there was nothing exactly like Pokemon and anything that existed was not close enough that they could just okay, don't do that. They were creating the the, the foundation that they would expand on. I don't think it's fair to, like, it's fair to point out flaws, but it's not fair to bash it, like, this game fucking, they didn't even, it's not even, it's like they didn't even try. What? No, they, they definitely tried a lot. I'm not saying anyone here is saying that, I just mean, in a general sense. First ever face cam stream? Far from it, my dude. Weren't you an anime girl a few months ago? Dude! That was December 15th, 2015. It's been a little bit longer than a few months. It was a weird phase. I was going through some identity issues, but I've got to figure it out now. I went back and watched the face rig stream like the other night, just because I was wondering like, how much has my stream changed since then? It really has. <laughs> I figured I would have changed more as a person, but aside from sounding a little happier, it was pretty much the same. Stream overlay looks shittier. You got worse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Pyro has male proportions. Maybe he just walks around with bubble wrap all over them. Maybe the inside of his pyro costume is bubble wrap. You don't know. Maybe he really likes Twinkies. He or she. I've noticed, like, when a lot of people try to discuss the pyro, like, on forums, they'll say she, as if to, like, headcanon that it's a female. I feel like, if anything, pyro's an it. Like an alien, with an unidentifiable gender. I think it's weird to impose either on it. Just call it thing. Creature. Ball of gas within a flame retardant suit. 
I could see, I could totally see, like, the year's 2025. Valve has finally decided to unmask the pyro. They pull off the mask, and just like a puff of smog comes out. And then the, the suit just falls flat. It was just full of smoke the whole time. Pyro was never alive to begin with. It was just sentient gas. And then, and then it's removed forever. Pyro canonically dies and then they remove it. Wouldn't that be a nice, nice idea? All right, Ten Shinhan, you're poisoned and dying, but you're also the only thing even remotely capable of enough to fight this person, so I think I just gotta work through it. Do by chance I have an antidote, good. I am liking the game. Now that I'm kinda like past the the part where they just keep screaming instructions in your face. I'm having fun with it. Plus, it's honestly a pretty, like... It's a pretty good chat game. Especially since it's E3 week. I have a lot of opportunity to just, like, back and forth. On E3 shit. Although, I, don't, I guess that's not really... The game being a good game. That's just convenient. That's what my third channel should be, Funky 3. And then I only upload E3 vlogs. Be ready for some crazy difficulty spikes once you reach Victory Road. I, yeah, I'm kind of used to Pokemon games just randomly becoming way harder. They always save the best for last at E3. I, it wouldn't make much sense to put it early now, would it? Do you plan on playing Black or White 2 after finishing this game? I'm not against it. I, I don't want to like, have a scheduled out, finish bl uh, White and then go to White 2. But if I enjoy it enough, then yeah. Happily. Because I want to get through Gen 5 and 6 and... So I can be, like, caught up with the full series. If you don't step lively, we're gonna get away. Well, thanks for, like, the advice. He's just, he wants to help me catch them, I guess. My main, like, gripe with a lot of second part, I guess, part twos to gens, where it's, like, Black and White 2, or uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or Emerald, or Platinum, or whatever, is a lot of time they actually don't, at least for me, have that much different content. It's usually just an excuse to play the same game again, with a bit of different, like, late game, post game. But it seems like Black 2 and White 2 are different enough that it's not just that. You get more out of it than just playing the game over. But I could be wrong. Except they're completely different games. Well then there. It's the confirmation I needed. Oh boy Metroid, Smash and Animal Crossing. No, F-Zero. No F-Zero, bad conference. I feel like we're at a point where F-Zero isn't a laughable idea. I think... I think with, like, the fact that Captain Falcon is, has become, a, like, notable enough in Smash that they could... They could bridge F-Zero to the general audience. It's just... It's more about whether or not they will. Because do they, do they have much reason to? They have plenty of other... Uh, worldwide franchises that would easily make money if given a switch opportunity what's your completely improbable dream for e3 valve talking about 
uh, virtual reality. I'd want to know what games they're working on. That's my improbable. Yeah, I know it's improbable because it it's too late for them to like reserve a slot, and I'm pretty sure everything's booked. For anything that's there, there would be Pokemon Switch news. Doom 2. Rec Room Battle Royale. <laughs> right now. TF2 VR Battle Royale. That's my pipe dream. They might somehow be at the PC Gaming Showcase. Maybe, but I feel like if they're gonna do a... Anything, it's gonna be... Specifically VR, not just PC. Just VR in general, VR tech. And if they do that, they're gonna... They would probably do it on their own... ...stage. Like, a bigger thing. Man can dream, though. I want someone to make a version of TF2 where everyone is playing in VR. If you've ever seen someone play VR, I think Musilk has some videos in it too. I do as well. It's not- it's pretty fucking nauseating. So, you don't- you don't want to see TF2 VR. At least not like, with rocket jumping. If they're gonna do that, then uh, get rid of the rocket launcher. Special game mode. I played TF2 in VR, took the heads off, headset off in five minutes. Yeah. I kept it on for longer, but I probably would have taken off five minutes later too. If I wasn't streaming. So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages. I'm mortified that this skull, which we went to do so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon Skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It's completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Does he mean, like, breaking my kneecaps, or breaking my Pokémon's kneecaps? Because... I can deal with my Pokémon's kneecaps being broken. Justin, Berg, the others didn't have anything. Who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I'm one of the Seven Sages of Team Plasma. Getsus, another of the Seven Sages, will liberate Pokémon with words alone. The remainder of the Seven Sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokémon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg and the net, the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say. Know your enemies, know yourself. And you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quietly. Talking to us is the opposite of quietly. Just saying. Even though you're gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we'll settle this someday. I hope you're looking forward to that time as much as I. Exposition. That's what I- that's what I gathered. You can kill trainers after you beat them in Pokemon Edge Rising. It just sounds like a badass game. Pokemon Edge Rising. What if they remade TF2 but centered around VR and it played like that? If it's centered around VR, it wouldn't be TF2 anymore. If they made it a combat-based game. You could literally only play, like, heavy. Honestly, heavy only VR kind of sounds fun. Like, at least for, like, five minutes. After that, I might get bored. I don't know. There's a concept in there somewhere, but TF2 is just... If it worked with VR, Valve wouldn't have given up on it, you know? Thanks for the Moonstone. If I find any Clefairy, I'll make use of it. Scout VR sounds sickening. It is. Very much.
The trees cut on this forest road are sent from Driftvale City to the world. Okay. So here make some great houses. If I apply what I just learned to the battle, I think I can win. What did you just learn? Staring at a fence. Tom Sawyer. Muna evolves with Moonstone. Boy, I would have never guessed. Muna evolves with a Moonstone. Holy shit. I noticed another thing when I was watching the old face cam stream is that I was way less mean. I was just a nicer person. When people made fun of me in that stream, I would just like laugh it off. But now if you hurt my feelings, I just... My first reaction is to roast whoever said it for five minutes. For better or worse. Probably worse. All the kids in Pokemon are just fucking stupid. All the kids in general are fucking stupid. But in Pokemon, it's definitely quite accentuated. Like, they're exceptionally stupid. There should be a word for, like, the stupidity created by being young. Oh yeah, it's called being a kid. Wait, could you say that again? Have you heard of... Fight... Fight... Ton fight insides. I don't really understand, but I heard the reason forests make you feel good is fight tonsides. I actually have not heard that terminology. Hell yeah. Thanks, Pokemon. I run every day. My goal is to be the marathon champion of the Unova region. Well, I I run fast as, as fuck, boy. Twice as fast as you. If you want to be a marathon runner, you're going to have to do a little bit better than a 10-year-old whose legs haven't grown out yet. He doesn't have running shoes. That's the problem. Let's have a Pokemon battle to see who's stronger. Riveting. Rivals has a hurtier. I think the game design of this game is the best. Letting you only use new Pokemon un until post-game is actually interesting. That does make it feel very self-contained, but in a good way. Like, you aren't relying... At least as a new player, you aren't like, Oh shit, I know this Pokemon, alright. I can, I can rely on this. Everything's sort of new territory. If you haven't played this game before. Or I suppose any post games. I mean, I played games after this, but it's not like I'm familiar with the roster of, of Pokemon. Hey, that's my line. I'm the only one allowed to hand slap. Actually, he does it better than I do. Twice as big as mine, too. It's not new territory if it's your first Pokemon game. Isn't that exactly what new territory is? It's especially new territory if it's your first Pokemon game. I guess it's not new territory because you're not familiar with Pokemon, so you don't already have a good concept of what counters what in, like, general balance, but... I don't know, I'd still say it's new territory. When I was young, I thought if you ran out of uses for a move, you can't use that Pokemon anymore, so I never got attached to Pokemon, because I knew they would run. <laughs> with, like, they were a squirt bottle of water, you run out and just throw it out. That's fucked up, dude. I think you have, like, an empathy problem. Pokemon aren't objects. Later, air. I will say the stream won't go past... Probably won't go past, like, 5, 5.30, because I gotta leave. Go, go to Top Golf. But I'll otherwise be around for a little while.
Wasn't there a trainer in like Gen 1 that specifically talked about a pink flower based Pokemon design? I always wondered if that was intentionally like a throwback to it or just purely coincidental. It's not like pink flowers is the most crazy concept anyways. I do love the, the low health incorporation. I just love like clever sound design in general. In battle, striking first is essential. So here, a quick claw. Hey, that's actually not even a bad find. Thanks, man. If you give it to a Pokemon to hold, maybe we'll let that Pokemon use its move before the opponent. Sweet, I'm gonna use that. Now, who do I give it to? Since I don't, I don't have that, uh, fire, fire attack damage upping move because I fucked up and got Miracle Seed. I guess I'll give him Quick Claw and then give Pissant a Miracle Seed. It's probably my best bet. Oh wait, it already has it. Okay. Well then... Guess I'll hold on to it. What a waste. There are people who are obsessed with certain items. They'll even buy your items for a lot of money. You might even be able to sell items you can't use to these people, so maybe you should hang on to them. It's just like TF2 trading. I'm trying to avoid only training the starter, but like... The only other thing that I was training is dead right now. And I haven't been able to revive him yet. I should probably avoid fights so that I can go back. Damn, it's so pixely, but beautiful. Jeez, Pokemon really is... It's so... It pushes the mold, but it's, it's limited by its, its console, almost. Like, this shit could be pretty cool in any other scenario. My all-time favorite Pokemon game is Crystal, followed closely by Emerald. Those are my, my top gens, I suppose. Which is kind of ironic since those are like the second forms of the generations, which I kind of complained about earlier. But because those were the first ones I played getting in, that made it okay for me personally. Pokemon Ass, also not bad. Wanna recover Pokemon? Oh, sorry. You know Geonet? No. People don't need to wear, know where I live. Evolve Muna with Moonstone and give yourself the Victini event? I don't know what that is. Played Kid Icarus Uprising yet? If not, stream it. And if you have, then stream it. And if you say your hands hurt, then just do it. To answer your question, no. I haven't played Kid Icarus. I haven't played any Kid Icarus. Whatsoever. Your favorite is Pick Knight. No. Good, good discussion. When you're tired, take a rest. It's the same for people and Pokemon. Oh, all living things need energy to survive. That does make sense. I need to go train Blarts for a little bit. He's, he's getting weak. What is this? Oh, it's a loading zone. No. I'll explore the town later. Can't afford to get into a fight right now. Can we have a five minute nap time on stream? 
Well, I've mastered the ability of talking in my sleep with my eyes open, so sometimes I do. You'll just never know when. That's the Castalia City skyline. Wow, you can smell the industrial smog from here. Tastes like lung cancer. You're streaming early, what's the occasion? The occasion <coughs> is that I'm dying. No, uh, I'm out of the I'm out of the house tonight. I'm going to Top Golf with a buddy, and apparently my family too, who is conveniently going at the same time. So I probably won't be at the stream tonight. So here I am. No Minecraft stream, isn't it? Oh shit! It's Sunday. <laughs> I f I forgot it was Sunday. I actually thought it was Saturday. Uh. Minecraft stream. I mean, I I may be home around like 9 or 10. If that's the case, then I can. I'll probably just do a late stream. If not, then I'll just do two streams tomorrow. And do Minecraft part of that. That's my bad. I, I forgot it was Sunday, honestly. Had a long week, man. 15 minutes till E3 starts and your stream dies. It's another hour. For, for the Microsoft one, it's at 4 EST, right? It's 2.45. Oh god, that's such an ugly spread. Alright, I think there's- I don't think there's any trainers to- to backtrack fight. So I'm just gonna move forward. I'm gonna miss the Minecraft stream. Well, it- it wouldn't be- If I do the Minecraft stream on Monday, it'll be at night. Because I'm not gonna make people miss that. Do put the code into the cheats and do the Victini? Right now? I kinda just wanna play the game. The 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 main game. You can do the Victini event after. I'm working on trying to stay awake all day today. I'm exhausted right now. I've been awake nearly 16 hours. Fuck man. That's I've been there. The music sounds weird. You sound weird. Voxel Frankie. Got a terrible sleeping schedule currently. I wrote a song specifically about my shitty ass sleepy s sleepy schedule. Like... I won't go in detail, you'll see it when it's out. But... I think it's, it's fucking crazy how we kinda... We live in a society where you kind of have to just break your fucking sleep schedule to to work around or the 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 world schedule, I guess. And it kind of sucks. Mental health doesn't take precedence over work. I've come to Castelia City to have a dance lesson. And you're only you're doing it on the dock. There's no lesson involved. It's not a lesson, that's just a dance session. Both Pokemon and people will meet their destined partner someday. I believe it because my sister got married. Who got married said so. I'd hate to break it to you, but... 40% of people who get married get divorced. Your wife is fucked. I should correct myself. If your wife is fucked, then that means it's good. Maybe she won't get divorced. If your wife isn't... Or if your sister isn't getting fucked... That's... That's the problem. It is small compared to a luxury liner, but the size of a ship doesn't change the feeling of adventure when you're out on the open sea. I don't know, if I was on like a... On a tiny boat, a rowboat, in the middle of the sea, I'd be a little anxious. Ha ha ha! Strength is not the size in the size of a body, it's in the size of the heart. Not at all true. Completely wrong. Aren't Pokemon great? Even if they're fighting someone bigger than them, up and at them they go and lose even faster. Kind of the nature of our jobs. We're luckily kind of make our own work hours. Yeah. Well, like, it, it, obviously it's case by case. If you're doing creative stuff, you... A, a lot of, like, the, the sleep is self-inflicted. Sometimes. 
but in general, it's just, it's rough. Certainly. Passerby Analytics HQ. People pass by as they walk along. It's probably like internet. Internet shit. What are people's favorite things? What is popular right now? Have you ever wondered? Welcome to Passerby Analytics. This is where you can find all the answers. You have good eyes. Eyes full of curiosity. Good. I will especially appoint you as a statistician. That was easy. Statisticians only have one task. They conduct requests and surveys. First, you'll receive survey requests from me. Then with the radar, you'll choose the survey you want to conduct. Then if you pass by a lot of people, the radar will collect the info. Of course, we're prepared comp compensation. Statistician Justin, I expect you to do a great job. What would you like to do? I'm not going to be able to do any of this. No. Get another statistician. I'm going to be a Pokemon trainer. Please wait. Really? I have a favor to ask. I'm asking statisticians to answer a questionnaire. Here we go. Details about people. What is your hobby? Fishing kids into the wilderness to steal their items. Obviously. What is your job? Wait. Fuck. Creator or self-employed? I... D job hopper. I, uh... I mow lawns. Artist? Don't flatter me. You haven't created a video in months? That's fair. Which do you prefer, battles or trades? I, I, I don't prefer trades, but I'm gonna- I ain't gonna give her my- She's gonna like sell this information to Facebook. Why would I fucking tell the truth? What's your favorite kind of Pokemon? Strange? Where's tough? There's no tough option. Lame? Sure. Ideals and values. Where do people prefer to live? In general? I think if, like, our analytics of population density say anything, it's probably city. Which one do you wish you had more of? Time or money? Yes. What's most important to you? Well, obviously... a lot of questionnaires. Likeable people. Which partner would you choose? Smart or athletic? I like a girl who can kick my ass. Next up. What do you value more in a person? Appearance or substance? Couldn't appearance technically be a form of substance? Next up. What type of person do you like? A rich personality. I like someone who has, like, a very rich personality. Preferences. Whoa. What is your favorite season? Okay. Real answer. What's your favorite food? Is it- it's about to tell me what type of a furry I am. If I answer all the questions, it's gonna tell me that. I know it. Why is orange never an option? No, no quiz that's ever asked me my favorite color has ever given orange as an option. Entertainment. What's your favorite music? Pop, rock, jazz, rap, or classical? What's your favorite kind of TV program?
Sports. Favorite kind of movie. Where's, where's anime? Where's hentai film? I guess that'd be romance. Well, yeah, what kid would answer news? What, what 11 year old is playing this game? It goes, news is my favorite art form of entertainment. School life. What is your favorite time in school? Isn't lunch just a break? Is there a difference in those? I guess lunch. Favorite school subject? Would psychology be a social study? Social study. What's your weakest subject? Obviously not science, since I got a 7 out of 10. Hmm. I, I think I know a thing or two about protons and neutrons. Science, I got. It. Sports and... I thought it said pastas. Pastimes. Where would you like to go for fun? The mountains? A river? River cool yeah. I'd like to meet a river. A certain river. What do you do on holidays? Play outside? Shopping? Reading? Video games? Sleeping late? Kind of all of these things, honestly. Why you gotta make me pick one? Favorite sport? Where is Overwatch League? Ugh. Where's competitive Fortnite? Last one. I'm almost through with them. Where's Pokemon League? <laughs> that's actually- that's true. There should be esports. What do you think the most fun part of Pokemon is? Going at- definitely walking into GameStop to buy it. That's probably the most enjoyable part. What would you want to become? Trainer, professor, Team Plasma, Pokemon. Team Plasma. Who's your favorite gym leader? I haven't beaten the game! Uh... Alessa. That's like asking me my... My favorite US president. Well, I don't know... 70% of them. Give you a general answer. Spoilers. Wow, I got a soda pop for all of that. So my reward for doing quizzes is caffeine. Great. Next time I'll do it. Next time I want to eat a castile a castilia cone for sure. I don't know what that is, but you do it, girlfriend. Hey there, trainer. Are you a are your Pokemon healthy? Being healthy is the best because when you're healthy, you can do anything. Imagine like a kid that was very very sick Talk to this person That would be soul-crushing How insensitive game freak At the battle company we welcome trainers who are proud of their skills Working women are beautiful and battling Pokemon are wonderful damn straight Man, I sure would fucking hate to be sick. Sure would suck to be sick. Glad I'm not. Your Pokemon healthy? Good. No one ever wants to be sick. Fuck people who are sick. How dare you? Coming on a little strong, Game Freak. Where did I put those sunglasses? I still don't think it's two minutes till E3, but... Hold on, let me double check this. I'm glad you're reminding me, but... Is it? Because I actually kind of want to watch that. At least for a bit. 4 p.m. ET. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. 
Unless you mean three, one minute till E3. I don't know what's going on. E3 is over. <laughs> Let's watch it. Whenever the Microsoft thing comes up, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll pull that up on stream. At least to see what happens. But right now... Uh, June 10th, Microsoft. Here, I'll put it on screen so you can see. Just for anyone that's, like, curious. This is, uh, what's going on. Specifically, what's going on today. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. So an hour from now, Microsoft starts. Bethesda starts 9.30 EST. So, like, six and a half hours from now. And Devolver Digital. Lol, what? Don't know what that is. Bethesda's the only one I really care for. But... May as well pay attention. Devolver, the only true one. Take this, it'll help you in dark places. Flash. Wow, what a useful... TM. Said nobody ever. By the way, wait, I just realized a guy hiding behind a dumpster just gave me a flash. Really? That's so fucked up. Ew. <laughs> That's so fucked up. There's not a lot you can do alone. There are more things two people can do. What the fuck is going on? There are even more things three people can do. I think what's missing from my dance is company. I need to get out of this alley. Holy shit. This is the... Nothing but degenerates in this area. <laughs> Sweating Pepe face. Hey, trainer. Show me your paces. Give me a whirl. Let's do it. In a kid's game, no less. Lucio? No way this shit ain't Lucio. If only he had a, uh, a Loudred. That'd be so perfect. Speed boost! Hey kid, you want some speed? That's what I'd expect in this scenario. Also, Blarch, you're gonna fucking die. I'm just letting you know. So do what you can. Collect that XP. I'm willing to believe that in his past time, Lucio's a Pokemon trainer. Goodness. Yeah, Alright, I gotta get you out of there, buddy. You're... ...eating shit right now. I don't think I've ever given a single Pokemon... ...one of them a nickname. I never have good nicknames, I just try to come up with things that sound similar to their normal name. Because... It's like a little... It's like a little brain puzzle for myself. Do you play Pokemon Go at all? Not since it was released. I actually did play it a decent amount when it first came out. That's how you get tinnitus! All right, let's get down. Okay, no fucking. Did this come out after Overwatch? No, no, no way. When did? Oh shit! I accidentally just restarted. <laughs> I was looking up September eighteenth, two thousand ten. Oops. Well, it was way before Overwatch. That's fucking weird, though. It's one for one, Lucio. I wonder if they came up with Lucio. From that trainer. Weird. Landscapes with people, landscapes with Pokemon. Each has power and beauty, compelling me to draw them both. Oh, my studio is down Mode Street a bit. You want to buy one of my pieces? No, sir. Please. Ten dollars. I don't want... Pushy artists. 
Yeah, I had to get flashed twice. Double traumatized. Lucio is back down that alley. He's just everywhere. Huh? Huh? I see. Oh no. Woo! They won't talk to me. Please. Such a bustling city. I like that detail. That's, that's neat. Devolver made a fucking David Lynch-like presentation last year. It was incredible. I'm amazed they're still allowed to participate. <laughs> I guess that probably is the best one of the day, so keep your eyes open. Triple dot. Because he is alone and looks lonely. I was reading a book to him. I'll read it to you, too. Here, I'll keep reading. Are you just... Okay. Zora, who was left alone, wandered around looking for its mother. Have you seen Zora? See? It's the Pokemon that looks like this. They say Zora has the power to bewitch people. It would be scary if it were if I were bewitched, but I like Zora. Because it's cute. Huh? Why are you blushing? Yeah, why are you blushing, dude? You got a thing for Zora? Alright. He's been bewitched by Azora. Hi there, I'm the game director. Oh, you're work you're working on your Pokedex. If you fill it up a lot, please let me see. That's what she said. Beware of spoilers. What I'm working on is the ending of the game. Don't look at it here. You'll have to play it for yourself. Oh, I want to look. I'm the graphic designer. I'm devoting all my energy to every dot. Hup. I should put one dot here, as if I'm making this part hollow. I guarantee you that this person is the most depressed worker in the office. Actually, no, that'd be the coder. A tip for getting strong in Pokemon battles. Let me see. I guess the most important thing is having a lot of battles. If you become very strong, come back and have a lot of Pokemon battle with me. I am strong. I'm the sound designer. I put in a lot of wonderful mechanisms to change the game's music. How many of them have you noticed? I noticed the low health buzzer. I'm Snorlax. No, no, I'm the planner. I don't mean to butt in, but the leftovers item is important, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> he's fat. That's the joke. They just broke the fourth wall. I want to return this game now. Please show me your electrodes. Busy busy. After I eat breakfast, I have to think about lunch. After eating lunch, I worry about dinner. Every day is the same. What a busy life. How about you plan your meals ahead? You, you get? Castelia City has so many people. Sometimes there are people who are only interested in themselves. Can't imagine what that's like. Call Nintendo support and ask them why the game devs are talking to me. Stick up your thumbs and curl in your fingers. Uh, this is a thumbs up pose. That means okay. In some places, that also means money. Yeah, old man. You know what this means? I hope so. Pan Sage, Pan Seer, and Pan Poor are Pokemon that evolve with special stones. Which Pokemon do you want to evolve? I don't know what any of those Pokemon are, but I have a Fire Stone now. Cool. Useless since I already have a Pokemon. I very much bite my thumb at you, sir. What the fuck does that mean? Looks like we got some gits in the chat who don't understand Shakespeare. Huh. To that I say, get bit, you git. Oh no, no, not that again, no. No, thank you. 
It's for anyone who doesn't know, it's literally just like Shakespeare for go fuck yourself. I bite my thumb at ye at thee, sir. Thanks for the sub. It's still that sound effect, by the way. But I turned it down now, so it's not not as bad. What was that from? Like Macbeth or something? I don't even remember what it was from. I know it was in like Romeo. Get bit you get is now my catchphrase. And you're gonna have to accept that. It's Romeo and Juliet? I'm sorry. I knew it was Romeo and Juliet. I just wasn't sure if it was general Shakespearean lore. Or specifically that. There's nobody working at this office. And I'm just allowed to walk in. I could steal the computers. They're laptops. They're not even like... Nailed down. This place would be so easy to rob. Can't swim on the statue, sadly. My Pokemon is so cute. It always makes me feel better when I come home. Don't- couldn't you just keep it in a Pokeball with you? Being a Pokemon trainer doesn't necessarily make someone stronger, but everyone can love their Pokemon and enjoy playing it together. You know... What she said reminded me of something. How do you think, like, planes work? It, was there a 9-11 in the Pokemon universe? Are you allowed to bring your Pokemon on a plane? Are they considered a weapon? Are you allowed to bring, like, a Bellsprout but not a Kangaskhan? How many Pokemon have died on the, uh... In the carriage of the plane? Where they, where they keep luggage? Man, that's fucked up. All the dead Growlithes. Can I- can you bring an Electrode on a plane? Could you bring a Voltorb and then disguise it as a Pokeball? It's fucked up, man. We're in New York, aren't we? So we should be able to figure out. My Pat Rat's ability is keen eye Even Smokescreen and Sand Attack can't lower its accuracy. Cool. You have a shitty Pokemon with shitty abilities. Mm, fantastic! Excellent! Berg's paintings are magnificent! Useful. I've been thinking about starting a new business, but it's quite a chore. Certainly with that attitude it would be. Do you think it's a good idea to provide a service to raise Pokemon for trainers? What? There's a daycare on Route 3? Yeah, and I think I have a Pokemon there that I'm not using. That rock thing. I'm a Pokemon fanatic. I'm famous in Castellia too. Oh look, you have a Pokedex? How many Pokemon you have? 24. It's quite a Pokedex. I'm impressed. You only need 780 more, idiot. I'm sorry. 980 more. Eviolite is great. Both defense and special defense of the Pokemon who holds it increases. However, it's peculiar stone because it's only effective on Pokemon that can still evolve. Okay, find a use for that. What kind of abilities do your Pokemon have? I don't know. I'm pretty sure people take boats in the Pokemon universe between regions. Okay, but planes definitely exist because it's more efficient than a boat. So a boat can exactly cross the United States. Maybe a couple rivers, but that's about it. Me oh my, the badges you... Actually, could you even? Because rivers flow out towards... You don't want... Either way, a plane's better. The badges you can get in the Unova region. Want to hear about them? No, not really. Not at all, actually. When I gaze down at the city from a tall building, I tremble because I'm scared of heights. Is it a normal hobby for you to, to stare down from the top of buildings? Do you need some someone to talk to? Maybe you should stop being on top of buildings in your free time. Sorry. Let me go ahead and save. Just for good measure. The 
flying type gym leader is in a literal airport with a literal plane. Yeah, there's definitely air technology in this. There's probably a lore where like, the design of airplanes are based off of Latios and Latios, which is honestly pretty clever. That'd be clever lore. Because a lot of people are like, well, why are Pokemon based off of inanimate objects? In the Pokemon universe, maybe inanimate objects are based off of Pokemon. Ever think of that? It's difficult to watch TV from here. It's not your concern, though. When you think about it, like, a lot of our technology in the real, real world is based off of animal designs. So, it does make sense. I mean, maybe it's kind of weird to design our keys over a Pokemon design, but it still applies. Hello. If you'd like, I'll massage your Pokemon. Yeah, go for it, you weirdo. But yeah, like, submarine designs, I believe, are based off of aquatic life. Like, whales and dolphins and shit that has good aerodynamics. Although, I guess instead of aerodynamics, it'd be water. Hydrodynamics? Whatever. You get my point. Helicopters are based off of hummingbirds. Yeah, there's plenty of designs. Name one thing that's based off of animals. Yeah, like the hummingbird thing is one. There's there's plenty of fucking examples. I'm just an idiot who doesn't know. Here, let's look this up. Inventions designed after animal. I think there's a whole Vsauce video on it too, if you really give a shit. A bat cane? These are all weirdly, like, specific things. Ma sea sponges? Wasps? Either way, there's- there's things. Your voice doesn't fit your face? In what way? In a good way or a bad way? I guess there's really no good way for that. Planes. Yeah, planes specifically are designed. You know, like, plus like cars, I guess, too. Aerodynamics, so the wind doesn't just blunt force the front of it, you know? We get that design from, like, bird beaks and shit. Weird for the voice, good for the face. Thanks, I guess. When Pokemon are happy, I'm happy, and I laugh. When Pokemon see me laughing, they'll be happy, too. That sounds exactly like something someone would say when Pokemon aren't happy. I'm going to laugh at the Pokemon. And they'll be happy. What are you doing that's making you laugh? Are you skinning the Pokemon? Good. Goodness. Yeah, cars, planes, all, like, a lot of the basic transportations are based off of po uh, Pokemon. Animals that travel long distances. Or more just like, that travel at all. Specifically at high speeds. The Royal Yuhova is now in preparation. We're working very hard. Okay. What a useful dock. Nothing. Plane wings are a shape called an airfoil. They use the Bernoulli effect. Google it. I'm, I'm in agreement with you. Okay, it, it changes the perspective and it's really confusing. Run to the right. I already talked to these guys. Well, if that's the case... I should progress. This place is pretty much cleared out now. Are you gonna watch E3? Yeah, I'm gonna peek in on the Microsoft for a bit. I don't... I don't know what to expect, but... I'll, uh, switch the stream to talk show mode and go steal a- go steal a stream to restream. But I really don't expect anything that great from the Microsoft one, so... We'll see what happens. Doesn't E3 start on the 12th? Ye the big E3 is supposed to start on, like, 12th or 14th. But I guess there are, like, earlier conferences. I'm not completely familiar. One year I want to go to E3. I just, I, want, I don't want to go until like 
there's something I really expect. Like, when, whenever Valve is like, we're doing something at E3, that's probably the year I'll go. If they do anything next year, I'd love to. This year, it's kind of just like... One, I've already kind of, like, traveled enough. And two, there's not that much. Jeez, Blarts, you gotta fucking step it up, man. Microsoft announces Minecraft 2. Just you wait, man. Minecraft 2, now with circles instead of squares. Isn't there like... There are like mods that do that, and it's just the grossest thing. <laughs> Makes me feel uncomfortable. You and I gotta find an event to meet up. <sighs> if you had gone to PAX East, my dude, we could have. PAX East is going on, and I have a lot of friends that go there, but... That's cross-country, so it's very hard to, Like, you really gotta justify it. We'll see. I'm always down, though. Minecon. East one's Boston, yeah. It seems like PAX West is the bigger one. That's because mo more people live on West Coast. They're more cool people. So the cooler shit happens more at West, but East isn't a five hour flight and hundreds of dollars for hotels as much. Pokemon hide in the darker sand? Okay, so it's just like tall grass. Really? No invisible items? It's shocking. Do I have the... There's, n there's no item in the area. That's actually... That surprises me. That's a useless area, then. Hey, trainer! There's a bit of a problem up ahead. Sorry, but you can't pass now. You should go kill some time by challenging the city gym. I couldn't find the city gym, but I guess I will. Whoa, hold up. I'm noticing some patterns. Bethesda to reveal official Fallout mod, mod for Skyrim in another world. A paid mod. Are you worn out? Okay, then rest for a minute. Okay, it actually is useful, but it's kind of random. Nap time. Ugh. Nap time. 30 minutes, well, 45 minutes, give or take, until Microsoft drops Minecraft 2. Remember when Fallout was good? Hasn't the whole thing about Fallout been everyone likes the franchise but hates Bethesda because they fuck it up constantly? People are still waiting. Fallout to get it. It's big New Vegas too. Goodbye, Blurts. I guess using an electric type is a bad idea against ground. That's my bad. Everyone loves the franchise and hates Bethesda. In that vein, Bethesda and Valve are very similar in my eyes. I love their their IPs, but I really I get very frustrated with them. They make it hard to like them. At least Bethesda makes games. <laughs> Woo. Don't you be throwing shade like that. But yeah. Absolutely.
Already beat the gym leader? No, I haven't. I'm a little ahead of it. Oh, that's a cool looking one. Scraggy? That's the one that evolves into the weird pants. The weird pants Pokemon. I want to catch it. Plus, they're higher level, so they'll be more useful than my current team. I'm trying to damage without killing. I'm afraid any other attack will kill it, so I'm gonna have to risk poisoning it. I hated Scraggy from the anime. I don't know about anything about Scraggy from the anime. But... It's, if it's in the Pokemon anime, it's probably not too great. Come on, Tenshin Han. Get it to fucking gather. He's getting bombarded. Maybe I should just Ultra Ball him and cross my fingers. That's good. I can work with this. I'm holding B. Now I'm going A B A B A B A B A B A B A B. Did it. I knew it would work. I remember I caught like a Zapdos with a normal ass Pokeball, and it blew my fucking mind as a kid. I thought I was like the greatest trainer in the in the world. Scraggy. Scrunglick. I was gonna do scrunch lick, but I can't get an E in there. Oh shit, I need to go heal. Ten Shinhan took a real fucking beating. But I kinda wanna sand dial too. Yeah, this is definitely like a post-gym area, and I'm not even ready to fight the gym. And Shinon's gonna die, but that's alright. It's kinda low. They're doing a... Smash tournament around E3, aren't they? So, something uh, to do with gameplay. Fucking hope so. What was, what went on last year? Or not last year? Whatever. <laughs> Damn, it feels so like the last Smash game was what four years ago? Five? Time really flew by because I was gonna I was trying to remember the Smash Invitational from last time, but that, that was actually so long ago. But that shit was so hype. I remember, like, in the final fight, just getting so fucking pumped for it. I think it was three years ago, 2015. Time definitely flew by. Do you think the Springman Decidueye leak is true? Listen, I would fucking love to see Decidueye in Smash. I think it'd be a really cool idea. But, honestly... I think it's way more likely it'll be a Gen 8. It wouldn't make sense to do a Gen 7, since Decidueye wouldn't be advertisement for the, the next Pokemon, or the next, yeah, the next Pokemon game. So, maybe? They confirmed it fake and showed how it made, I was made. I believe it. I, I had no idea what that leak was. I was just basing off of what you said. There's like, there's entire videos of people, you guys remember the Rayman leak during the last Smash? And then the guy like came out and showed how he made it? Yeah. 
it's not that hard to fake smash leaks. Every year, it's just, it's so much worse now. Like, uh, I believe Did You Know Gaming recently made like a video talking about teasers and leaks and shit throughout the years, or unused content or whatever. And they specifically talk about like smash leaks. And they go into detail on like how, as the internet has grown, there's just been, the leaks have been so much easier to make people think it's true. So just whenever you see leaks, just assume it's not true until something happens. What you can do is save the leak, put it to the side, and once actual info is out, you can go back and look at who was telling the truth or who just like guessed right. But usually it's like, if someone guesses a multiple right, it's an actual leak. Because hype, people are dumb and not patient. Yeah, and I mean, I get it. Everyone wants to know. It's such a- it's a fun idea. You know, I love, like, discussing, Oh shit, what if- What if the Sidui was in Smash? Wouldn't that be cool? It does start a cool discussion. But the problem is when people, like, start to legitimately believe, Yeah, this- this is in Smash. This is legit. Well, hold on. It's not. That is absolutely Lucio. That is Lu That is ten- He's dancing. He's grain. He seems to have, like, roller skates on. He says, let's get down. But that's so confusing because... What? Because Overwatch wasn't even in development in 2010. It started development in, like, 2014, right? So, what? Hey, trainer! Show me your paces! Give me a whirl! Fight like a dance. He has, like, the pants around his... There's no fucking way that's not. That's so weird. They stole Lucio from Pokemon? I figure that's it. It's almost like Brazilian characters are all the same. But, not every Brazilian-based character is designed specifically to have a jacket around their shoulder with a primarily green thing and dance a lot. Also, isn't... Lucio isn't even Brazilian. He's Portuguese... He's Portuguese or something. No, he's Brazilian. I might be thinking of like pre-release. He speaks Portuguese, but he's Brazilian. Okay, well Then I retract that still I feel like it's way too close to be a coincidence B3 is live? What's live? Is Microsoft live? Oh shit, I need to uh... I need to save state and pause. What's E3? This guy doesn't know. Also, I really wish it would stop like... Hmm, whatever. Is Microsoft Live right now? Should I watch E1 or E2 first? Doesn't seem like it's up yet. Shut up, Dr. Pepper. Actually, while I'm here... I want to get the Microsoft E3 stream prepared to watch anyways. Man, it's never so fucking like... You have to do so much work to track down these things. Alright, here. Gaming.youtube E3. No, it's not. It's just like... Xbox One? Is it? Alright, hold up. And then we really 
really focused on the mode the one which people really loved and NBA so it is started now um, they're already really doing the uh, the Microsoft one and building out the type of player you want to be both on the streets and and in the league kind of quiet um, and in this year we're gonna allow you to go to Twitch's kind of stream on that journey in a deeper way but you're rather do twitches than YouTube you gaming kind of players along the way I'll show it on screen I'm just like trying to like find the source right now shut up Yeah, it is going now. All right. Oh, no. I said, do you know how much time? I think it's like Funko Pop shit. Ugh. Stop. <laughs> Doing anything E3 related? You You're watching it. I wanna, I wanna stop for a bit and actually Alex, watch. What are we gonna watch do? The conference. So I'm gonna set this, my I'm stream to sure talk it's show. Work out the way we want it to. Or actually, no. I guess E3. Come on, Alex. You can do this. These are your people. Hey, Alex. They're ready. I'm ready. Take them home. Sucks I follow like six people doing their own streams on E3. In the world. Yeah, but I mean everyone's everyone's a game, everyone wants to hear. Also, can you hear it? Is it quiet? Or is it loud? Woo! It's fine. Thanks everyone for coming. I hope you are as excited. I'll give you a forewarning right now. It's Microsoft conference. It's gonna be it's gonna be fucking lame. But I'll stick around. Let's run the trailer. Uh, I'm having issues here. What's the problem? Uh, I don't know. Something's wrong with the file. This is the greatest game in the world. This is the greatest game. That's illegal. You can't do that. Okay. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> is, Tiny build. Is that actually are they making that joke? Really? Oh god, those animations. All right. We're almost there. We just need to find the red key. There's one person missing. It looks like Billy got caught. Hmm. Let's split and search the second floor. Remember, don't trust anyone. This looks like a PS2 game. Oh, <laughs> what the... This is so clearly not a video game. What is this? Is this a proof of concept? Because this is very clearly not real game footage. Run away! He's not one of us! This is suspicious. Look for the key in the drawer. I will check the wardrobe. We are going to win. Hello, neighbor battle royale. <laughs> That wasn't even remotely gameplay, that was com- Okay. Alright. You guys want to talk about what that fucking thing was? No? Just moving on. Accept your new name. And wear it with honor. Go away.
I love Tostinos. Again? Oh, what? Totinos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome okay. back to E3 on Twitch. We are live from downtown Los Angeles. That was the tiny build. Sorry, I'm just trying to like Their fathom what's announced, happening which is, here. Might be the greatest game ever. Uh, Secret Neighbor. Uh, and Zeke, pointed out uh, nice. a kind of a follow up, if you will, or maybe I don't. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if, if it's like in the same universe. Yeah, it's definitely in the same universe. Listen, I didn't play Hello Neighbor. You know, a big hit for for tiny build. I'm, and I'm that not didn't sure, look like, that great. What I you saw it? We all saw it. I'm not sure it's, it's a co-op game. I'm guessing it's co-op versus like it. game. It's a child voice. battle royale. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to make that the joke. That was actually the funniest thing that ha -ha. I think. If you noticed it, if you watched the very ha -ha. first part of it and you caught it, on their on the tiny build like dry erase board on their calendar, right, the very it said, hello neighbor battle royale. <laughs> or hello neighbor royale or something like that. I went, oh, that's funny. And that might be what we're might getting, like something like that. Um, Anna, uh, How, okay, has, I said know, that shit are, like you know, because it was a fucking obviously fanatic. not true uh, joke. Yeah, it was a musical. It's clearly in a not way, right? battle. You know, it was exactly what the game industry needed. Okay. <laughs> was a musical about game development. And look, look, look. We saw you all in chat. Yeah, we were we watching. We saw you pretending that you didn't like that. Don't you project your you get assumptions industry, on me? You liked that. You yeah. did. Don't I pretend did. you like that because it's all—it's just trolling ourselves, right? Like, right. oh, it's, it's the hype and it's the biggest thing, and then the, we're gonna release it, and like, oh, it doesn't work. Let the fans test it. Like, I feel called out in the best possible it's, way. It's true. Yeah. I mean, and I love 4K 8-bit pixel art. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like that my like, favorite. That like hurt my stomach. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, the this music is rough. great. I I want to know who those singers were. They were quite talented. Yeah. I give them. I give them props. Almost that's as good what, as the background dancers. That's what I was the that, was, yes. that was so well. It was it was a well put together song. Screaming. It was well sung. This is not the, the time. The... It was surprising Thanks. at how like how actually like polished and good it was. I thought it was going to be less like more of a more of a spoof, but I thought it was. A decent song. And well, here's the complaint. See, I wasn't have. actually like, well, I didn't present for the musical, I musical number. I don't know what they're talking <laughs> about, but <laughs> I'm pretty wrong. glad I missed it. No, they're not, they're not point, wrong. Yeah. I don't know what they're talking what about, but I'm glad I didn't not, see it. Here is our games get excited about them. It's here's who we are, yeah. and here's how we want right. to entertain right. you because you, you know, maybe you're not familiar with us like you are. I don't need that chat. How do I hide chat? And so, from that perspective, that's the that's the E3 chat. Then they just kind of tacked again. I have mine the open, end, but we're excited about that. But did it have anything to do with the press conference? Valid criticism, but I'm going to give it a. I'm just grabbing the volume mixer up. so yeah. I can yeah. turn it down. If I yeah. to. Uh, but I mean, I have a hard time calling it a press conference. True. Mm. Very I, true. I like that they said the whole Why? thing was no. What like, is a press conference? <gasps> oh, we're getting Z potential conference. Open here. What is conference? Is presenter and audience. There was an audience. There was an Does audience. anyone know yeah. what to expect? How about, how about live or are audience? they just going to talk audience? about well, battle royales and conference. musicals there for 10 minutes? Conference. I wouldn't call that a press conference Here, last year. Here's the thing, too. If, if it's a press conference, it's supposed to be we're giving people something to write about. So the question is, did they give press something to report on? If by that definition, then okay. I, okay, I feel All like right. there's uh, nothing of value in this, this, this table. It seems like they're just trying to kill time. <laughs> Your neighbor looks like some sort of alpha available now. You can uh, head to that website, check it out. But Microsoft is coming up next. Yeah. And uh, before we kind of d dip into what we know we'll see, what we think we'll see, etc. Okay, the overlay um, is refusing to go new away. about Microsoft is they've they've shifted the date, right? Uh, they traditionally were always on what was considered like the main press day, right? It was... It was always uh, the Sony, Microsoft, Ubisoft, EA, and then of course, you know, PC Gamer came in, et cetera. So Microsoft kind of shifting to take everything that they're doing uh, a day back. Uh, interesting decision, I, no idea why. Uh, but I think if you look at some of the Minecraft other- Minecraft too, that's why. Right? It's kind of maybe better to as Needs a preparation. console maker and a game maker to stand on your own day versus always being up against Sony, which is what has happened traditionally for like the last seven years. Yeah. Whether or not that has any effect, I don't know. But hey, this is new Microsoft on Sunday. So uh, any initial thoughts before 
really start diving in as to what we, we might see. Just the scheduling that you mentioned is weird because we talk about how Microsoft and Sony typically compete with their conferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today it's just Microsoft and Bethesda. There's some time. other... The brilliance of them going first. Third thing. Like, here's what you're about to see all week. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> this song's right, going to play right. in your head as you're watching right. your 90s. Last year, they kind of made fools of themselves. That said, I mean, I think it's interesting that, that Microsoft has changed their strategy. They're coming out Devolver. first. What do they think they, they have that's going to set the trend for the week now? I, I don't know. But uh, I would say, like, if they come out with some really kick ass, like, rumor has it, Cyberpunk 2077 shit. <laughs> right. Uh, so that might be like, because that's that's. CPR, it seems like what these guys are saying right. is just the, 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 to sorry, make time Witcher, pass. Right. Obviously, I will tell well, you if, that, if that you be, that would be if you're a casual E3 viewer, yeah. the you wanna, you only wanna thing you'll right right probably give a shit about is tonight at like 9:30 EST, um, yeah, where yeah, they talk about Bethesda, presumably. Rage two and Fallout 76. What games are we playing in 4K? Pretty sure so if you're looking for something interesting, watch some it then, not now. The Halo franchise, right? Everyone loves some. Because this is just them trying to like game. make the day um, pass for interesting stuff. It would be a weird year if we didn't, don't you They'll think? They'll give us Halo something. Yeah, right? I mean, like Halo Wars or Halo. Halo VR. <laughs> <laughs> I jump into that. Are you VR. ready? I, I totally Halo VR. I jump into uh. Halo VR. You bet your ass. We really joke, like, but there's one it would work on. I mean, no, you no. can play VR right now. You just got to be okay. It wouldn't be the worst games. VR game. I, I wouldn't. Um, it's not the direction uh, I want, though. Uh, pretty sure we're going. It's to a see terrible an idea. To one of the most popular. It's too much mobility in Halo. I feel like it's, with the fucking jump pads and shit. Okay. No, thank you yeah. in yeah. VR. Okay, <laughs> oh, VR. Uh, oh no. I, I, think that I was like, if VR, year, the Gears VR War <laughs> fans <laughs> might be in for a treat no. if the rumors no. uh, around what a lot of people are talking about are true. And the rumors are is that we might see up to three. Gears of War games. VR is Battle That's Royale. So interesting. That's like very ambitious because if, if I'm a Gears of War fan and you want to you want to direct my hype towards something, you're going to spread it out across three? I mean... I'm going right? I'm going to like stick I, around you know, for a I, few I, minutes. I, if they don't I actually... The thing when I read it, especially when you hear what... If nothing interesting happens, be, I'm going to go back to white and wait for anything, the Microsoft to franchise is to start. almost always fresh in people's minds. And I think when people think about Gears of War, they want to think about the earlier you know, Marcus Phoenix Gears of War as the staple, I think there's an opportunity to try to come back to that and really bring the franchise. Cause I mean, I, I got no opinion on Gears, Gears of War. War was a hot, hot franchise. Mm -hmm. I would say right now it's, it's kind of teetering. I think where the fans are like, give us some love a little bit. So are you ready to hear what the three might be? Please. Sure, yeah, please. So a traditional Gears of War game, right? Okay. Uh, story mode, third person, maybe some co-op, big big fights, etc. Um, so the other one is potentially an RTS Halo War styles game, which is kind of interesting. Real time Gears strategy of War isn't Halo known for its vehicles and ve vehicle it's not battle, why where it's I don't feel Halo like that's why people like Halo. A place where that made sense, but like Halo because it's a fun bots. I'm always shooter. intrigued whenever anyone tries an RTS because I think RTS is so hard to get right. I mean, obviously as a StarCraft two purist, like I'm. Or StarCraft purist, I guess. Portal Battle Royale. I, I, I'm always like, if someone could make an RTS that would really kind of sweep right. up all of those people, that would be a huge accomplishment. I always kind of give it a like, oh, cool, go ahead. Let's, yeah. Let's see. Let's, you know? let's see how it yeah. does. God, I fucking <laughs> love about, like, fighting you know, in Halo. I love the shooting. You know what it needs? Like, how are you going RTS. To, to gamify the RTS? Like, how, you know, how many units can you really offer? How many different interactions right. can you offer? Right. Um, of course, this could be. Could be yeah, I'm ready. Wrong, I, too. I, I, I can yeah, everyone fucking hates question. normal and Halo. Last but not least, uh, Gears of War Battle Royale is the yes. third one that's that's being <laughs> rumored, um, which is also interesting because would you make sad thing a is it's probably going to happen separate from the main game, right? God, I, I hate this year. I just hate everything thing about thing this year. About, where it's like, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of packaged games. Here's everything, everything, and Battle Royale. But I do think that we'll see a lot of developers say, no, well, we're conferences gonna are going to stream. We're going to build and design that game around. Well, I may not be, um, I may not be here to stream that? Bethesda. I don't know. I don't see why not. But why not. I'll do yeah. Nintendo too. Um, Other than that, that, I wasn't really planning to. Would, you know, Unless something catches my eye. You might see from Microsoft. There's a lot of discussion about Rare. I'm just doing this because you know, I happen to be streaming at the same time. On, what can be revived from there? And then the other question that's coming up is, is there anything deep in the bolts of Microsoft that could potentially 
you mm. know, come out and surprise us That's that we might not be question. surprised of. Or we might not be expecting, and people were, you know, kind of like Crackdown. When Crackdown. Were we talking about like ni Windows ninety eight no titles going on for Revival? Fable? We'll see. Ooh. Yeah, Fable. A lot of people are are like Fable. Eh. And then I played also, Fable three. I never got Fables into it. <laughs> this is this is where I'd honestly rather see three D pinball IP space cadet oh, sure. than you know. I think everybody is of that of that mind these days. It's like everybody wants new IPs. But aside from that, everybody we use a couple more from the ones we grew up with or the ones we came to love. I don't. Before. I think most people if just want good involved, video I games. Think that's a really valid. Like I think that it's a good time for Fable yeah. right now. I agree. Because I would say the other trend that I I'm kind of excited for. I, think New, I just want good video life, games. Right? I don't care. Going on because there's a lot of chaos happening right, right. now. We just kind of just want to get in there and just, <laughs> you know. And then there's also a side of us that have been very introspective lately with everything going on in the world. And I think you see a lot of the games like um, Sea of Solitude, sea of Solitude where yeah. it's like, I was feeling very lonely and I wrote a game about feeling lonely so we can share that human experience, you know? And so I guess if I'm looking for anything in terms of new IP- If I wanted I to feel lonely, I would just wake up earlier in the really morning. Interesting right now. So giving me so a little I could bit of live my so life I can go longer. in and I can smash and be powerful, but I can also get in my feels, you know, like do both. Speaking do both. of that, See. actually you brought up uh, the feels and that kind of stuff, Ori. It's gonna yeah. be a Crobe Ori, Cat yeah, video. Yeah, it's just gonna be a compilation of every time weird. someone makes a battle royale joke or someone oh, actually yeah, announces a battle game. royale. It yeah. happens. I'm human. I might have hey, You are up. human. And I, that's okay. I can yeah. see it now. Well, how about we check in? Battle we'll royale. Battle royale. Maybe battle take royale. A poll on how <laughs> bad you messed <laughs> how bad? up. How bad? Uh, no, no, no. Well, we want to find out what you're excited for, I think. I can write down on my list right here. Okay, Adrian. How's it going over there? Yes, yes. Check in. I'm sorry, you caught me here at the E3 check in eating these delicious Totina pizza rolls. Are you done? I got information for you. Chat, it's our turn again. It's our turn again. I no, want to find not. out what surprise reveal do you want to see from Microsoft, okay? And once again, we have four options. And this time, I hope we can get a little bit better communication, maybe give you guys some time to like think about this. Instead of just picking an answer right away, like you did last time, which is fine. You can do that. What is it? Well, here are your options, okay? Halo 6, Fable 4, Gears of War 5, and a new Perfect Dark. Now, before we delve into this, I want to remind partner streamers out there. So, no information, this, just more really enjoying this. past the time Guess shit. Guess what? You can do it, too. Make sure you go over to uh, your dashboard area for your extensions. Look yeah, that's about what I expected the vote to be. Too. Using bits, you can have your own voting poll. Brought to you by uh, iPowWow. So chat, here's the thing, okay? Oh I'm my goodness, he was think. caught eating because the Tostino's pizza okay. rolls. How so the first thing comical. Is that Fable, it sounds cool, right? I like Fable. Fable was done by Lionhead Studios. Lionhead Studios, not around right now, which sucks. But the thing is, we get a new Fable. Boy, you're landing every game. line of that script perfectly. Kind of used to. Are we gonna have the person saying, you know, hooray, hero, and all that stuff? Halo, I'll give you a pass for because it can be Halo Six, but think about this. He didn't. He he Why just Halo aimed 6? at Gears of War Four. I don't think he realizes where it is on the display. Right? And I'm not gonna list the rest because it doesn't matter. Halo ODS Two should be right next to Halo Six, and it's been since 2015 since last Halo's release. How comedic! And in Gears of War, you had a two-year drought, right? But Gears of War, I mean, I'm a fanatic. I have the games that I love, no matter what. And when you're a fanatic of any game series, what you do is I you bet you he's never no fucking what. played a Gears of War in his life. Chat, I'm a fan of Gears of War. I like I Gears of War. That's why half of the people you see at E3 so sick, trying to act bars, like they right? know they know the like game. games up here are fanatic games. Excuse me. Oh god. If like I haven't played games. Gears of War 4, so I haven't played it. Now to think about this. What direction do you want to head, chat? How do you want to do this? And to make sure that we're doing this. I'm gonna look at you right now. I'm gonna find out who's saying what about yes. this experience, okay? You have a limited amount of time to vote. So it's, it's looking fairly close between Halo 6 and Fable 4 right now. So this is the moment where all your friends out there who want a new perfect dark, you want institute menu, this is your chance. Look you at him like with that seconds, silly okay? so please, toasty toes in the background. Help me get a new perfect dark. So funny. Rare's probably watching this right now thinking, you know what? I'm gonna... Come on. Fable 4. That's fine. I don't even mind. You can do it. And look at this. 
You're What's wrong with Fable 4? Fable 4 in chat. Too awesome for me, Fable 4. Arctic 301, Halo 6. What are you guys doing? Help me out. There's no one in here. Okay. Never mind. Mm. Thank you, the X into X. I have to make sure I actually can say your names because some of them are kind of <laughs> they're some of them kind of suspect. So if I'm double taking, it's because I'm making sure that I don't get a Yeah. I mean, what can I say? I have no so reason to talk on my own stream. This guy just thank you for so charismatic. Once again, and I hope that later on you and I can build a better foundation. Was this a necessary check-in? Guys, back to you. Wonderful. Uh, wow. I'm thank sorry, you for that. Okay, Adrian, that thank you for that toasty toes tied in and uh, Twitch I have, vote. I, I feel like I know the reason why. Why? Perfect Dark has been, I think, removed. Okay, I think I'm done watching this for now. If if anything interesting actually starts to happen, please let me know. I'll I'll. I'll watch Microsoft talk about what they're actually doing. But if I wanted to watch someone struggle to be funny, I would just mirror my own stream on my second monitor. So, I'm going back to Pokemon Black and White for a bit. I know, I know, you're going to miss that charismatic cast, but... It is what it... It is what it's got to be. This Funkraft stream, you should turn on some shaders for fun. I was looking into getting shaders, but since it's through the launcher, it's not as easy. I wasn't sure if it would fuck with it. Especially with the server lag as it is. No one is watching because E3 is resident sleeper. Oh, what? Those were some smooth moves, no doubt. But it'd be even tighter if I had a group. Hey, you! Would you like to talk to the other dancers? If you invite both of them, the three of us can groove as a team. He's trying to form a Lucio Ball team. Let's do it. I can do that. It's not that great. Look. Easy. When I, I'm not talking about a lagging the server. I meant the server is lagging. If I put on shaders, I'd have to deal with potential client lag and server lag, and I didn't want to deal with that. So quiet. No. You're gonna have to yell a little louder if you want help out. Okay. So... I don't know if there's an actual map available for me to check, because I need to locate the, uh, the gym. That's kind of the first order of business here. Honest question, what does voting in a surprise game reveal even do? Nothing. It's just their way of killing time until they're ready to actually announce anything. I feel like they would be much more entertaining if they just cut to the fucking chase. Just like, alright. Start the stream- yeah, you'll have to start the stream an hour later, but... At least you- your company won't end up in a YouTube cringe compilation this year. I feel like that's a decent trade-off. Or a Crobe Cat Battle Royale compilation. Don't suppose I can get on the boat. We need more Just Dance cringe. Something tells me I'm alright. No, I don't need any more questionnaires. You know what I think they could do that I'd be okay with? They should just do the normal presentation, right? But, but make them do it in a giant pizza roll costume. Every, like, everyone will find it at least kind of funny in a cringy way it'll be self-contained to one thing and you can still get to the point instead of oh I didn't see you there oh how I was just eating some pizza roll how funny <laughs> so cute
Do you need to take a shower and how do you do it? I took a shower. My hair doesn't get this voluptuously greasy without showering. There's a law against good games nowadays. Some, you know, sometimes it feels like that way. People are quite different depending on where they live. It's a bit surprising rules and ways of thinking are different just because the places we live are different. That's profound. Pizza Rolls 2 announced at the Microsoft press conference. It's exactly the same as normal pizza rolls, but now when you open them up, there's a, uh, a, a smaller pizza roll inside of it. Or a, uh, fortune cookie that just links you to the Tostino's pizza roll website. This is E3, yes. Pizza Royale. I know you don't know me, but do you know who RT Game is? Yeah. He's, uh, he's been in chat a few times. And I think he has me on auto-host as well. I haven't really, like, talked to him. But I know of him. Microsoft has started? Alright, alright. Let's hold up, then. Maybe, uh... Maybe there's something happening. Where is it, uh... There. I just jumped in on the Xbox stream, so we'll see what's happening. As long as they don't do... But as long as it's not... <laughs> Halo Infinite? Any, uh... Wanna elaborate on that? They have... Somebody count the computers. Is that a hundred computers? Please welcome the head of Xbox. That better not be a hundred. Bill Spencer. <laughs> that guy... Oh god, the guy bowing. That was hard to watch. There was a guy in the audience bowing to him. With Halo Infinite, we will join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. We are now You're doing the opposite of saving of humanity. Creativity and gaming. We can't wait to show you what creativity unleashed looks like for you. So to all the gamers around the world, across time zones and languages, to every single person watching us on TV and on Mixer, and to our largest Twitch. ever live audience, the thousands of you with us right here in the Microsoft Theater, welcome to E3 2018.
I'd like to personally thank everyone who's joining us from FanFest. Resident sleeper. 100% of the proceeds from your FanFest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. Thanks to you, kids in children's hospitals get to game with their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects gaming. us. Gaming. It inspires our truest Y'all hear about gaming? It creates some of our fondest memories of competition. Whoa, gamers. And our deepest conversations about the stories within games. Gaming, check. Most of all, gaming fosters <laughs> real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, we, we, gender, and we geography. Make those. This is why I've always believed and will always believe that gaming is the great unifier. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. So Legendary sick characters who captivate kind of us. Discussion. Not just for 10 hours, but for 10, 20, 30 years. Bold stories that inspire the hero within us. Iconic worlds. I'm honestly so, so ready for the imagined. word gaming to be We feel dead. excitement in the air and danger on the seas. As gamers, we are at a momentous time where creative vision <laughs> He's really and cutting edge it. technology together are delivering the art form we love. <laughs> so, for months, our teams and I have traveled the world, meeting developers from Japan to Poland, from the UK All Battle to Royale the Ukraine, developers. from big studios to single Battle developers, Rails. creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One to express their most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best work and ours. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. Some of will video be first-timers on this stage, and others will be first-timers on any stage. All are imagined by the industry's greatest talents. All demonstrate what true artisans can create. 50 games, 18 world art, premieres, so that means... Immersive sound effects, breathtaking world. It's going to be like 32 so games that are already released being talked about. Exclusive. Gamers. I assume this is a pre-existing title that's getting a Xbox Store release. I've never played it. I don't know anything about this. Or was this something in development? New Ori? New sequel. I mean, visually, it looks really cool. Wow. 
world premiere. So much green, it may as well be Colorado. Oh, is... So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate. Just yet. It looks like Neo. Yeah. From software. Some time has passed since I found you. Your master still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. Activation. The limb you have lost will give way to something more useful. You'll learn to appreciate its worth. Bruh, are we getting Samurai Dark Souls? Neo 2? Battle Royale. He is very visually similar to the character Hanzo from Overwatch. Your death won't come easily. Oh, he had a fairy jar. Nice. Hero shadows die twice. I'm always down for something from From Please Software from Bethesda Game Studios. Ah, <laughs> Bloodborne 2, not quite, but there's gonna be plenty of Hanzo jokes. Oh God, no, Todd! <laughs> no, Todd, please don't. How's everybody doing? Skyrim. Y'all heard about it? It's great to see everybody again. You know, actually, the Bethesda event is a few hours right after this across the street. And uh, Phil said to me, So stay there. I have a few friends over. Why don't you uh, stop by? And look, I know Phil is really, really charming. Um, but damn, he's got a lot of friends. <laughs> Jeff Kaplan walks out and too. And the good news is, you're our friends too. We've had an incredible 16-year history with Xbox going all the way back to the original with Morrowind. We've even released Skyrim once a year for those 16. Now backwards compatible. And that goes all the way to bringing mods to consoles with Fallout 4. Paid. And now we are bringing the Fallout universe to Xbox Game Pass with Fallout 4 launching today. Oh my god. Finally, finally. finally. And hey, since we're here, the Xbox Game we Boys thought we'd give all of you an exclusive too. world premiere first look at Fallout 76. Hey, all right. All right, Todd. Yes, Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games, and it is our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Really? Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. I want to see the game. Shut up. Please don't fuck it up. Please don't fuck it up.
300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven. All out house creator. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains. Shenandoah River. Life is all there. Older than the tree. It looks less colorful than Fallout 4, which is probably a good thing. Country roads take me home to the place. You can't play this song. That's fucking cheating on my heartstrings. Yeah, we're gonna ignore the monster. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds. They and ultimately, America itself. Building. In Vault 76, our future begins. I'm, I'm interested. I still want to know what the game is, though. Is it just like a... Must just be like World a Fallout premiere. game? Spirit of my silence, I can hear what the you, fuck is this music? But I'm afraid to be near you. And I don't know that was all visuals. That was cool, but... I still want to know what the game is. I guess that's for their... I don't know where uh, to begin. <laughs> Life is strange. It's just me, Captain Spirit. <sighs> this is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. Keep me posted. Chris, breakfast. They can't just drop that Fallout 76 shit and then Todd walk off the stage. Here? What? I don't need a They're really just summer. moving on. I always get Fuck you, Todd. Team at school. You elusive bastard. They can't tell stories like you can. Can they? No way. Start the launch. Too late. Emergency. Am I? Am I? I feel like I'm one of the few people that kind of doesn't care for this art style. It's too. Too soft. This time, you won't get away from me. I miss mom's smile. Me too. Nobody's friend. You're probably gonna change the world. I hope so. Can you bring Todd back so. on stage? What does that say about Microsoft's conference that I, I want Todd Howard to come back? The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Download for free from Doesn't, June I mean, I don't know. It just looks like something I don't care about. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a, sh a monstrosity. It's just exclusive. It's like whatever. Jack, on Not deck. for me. Welcome to Crackdown Three, the only game built like me. Big, beautiful, like a skyscraper falling at your face. If you wanna play on my level, follow my lead. Somebody give me my jam! Harry fucking Cruz. It's all about getting the jump on the enemy. No building is too high. 60 stories up, incoming! He was so mad he couldn't voice act Doomfist, he won and made his own game. The absolute madman. Nama, nama, nama! Big, bigger, Jackson! Then you need that fire pop! Homing rocket gun, bullseye! Is this actually just Old Spice commercials, the game? It's like Borderlands. Like 
I can push off fools, pull up the side of a building, or even bust out my very own tank. Oh, yeah. Boom, shakalaka! Man, it looks like space... Just won't quit. Uh, Saints Row. And mad a master plan. Here we go! The hits just keep on coming. <laughs> it's like Saints Row in space, but with a... Cell shading. Or, uh... Whatever the... the Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Borderlands Saints Row, basically. We will take back our world from the scourge of the machine. Okay. It's a fun game. I really like Nier Automata. It seems kind of late. It's been two years. Become as God's edition? What? <laughs> that was so useless. Oh, okay. What was that? I, I think it's just like a re release. Okay. Thanks. And the skies rained missiles. And the ground burned to ash. And the seas boiled. And people turned into shadows. So let us not fear the heretics Here at the our road. door. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Metro. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them. For Russian this is our hour of glory. Amen. Let's move out, Artyom. A Polar Express Dark Age. <laughs> like Fallout Resident Evil. With, in Russia. Is it a zombie game primarily, or is it a story game? Uh, it's Metro. People were saying in chat, like, right at the beginning it was. It was a train, not a Metro. <laughs> Metro had me at its gritty visuals, Michael, it's because a lot of them are they blend into each other. Mystery of the ruins like. above ground. What I love about our art form is really the vast the range mold. of creative expression, from grim post-apocalyptic battles Gamers. to hand-painted spirit guardians. Whatever world these creators build, whatever story they tell, <laughs> Gamers, whatever sound up. effects they use. We will work with creators to guarantee and gamers. that their games look and play best on Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, they're going to look best like on Xbox One. Like this next game. Generations have Definitely. loved role-playing games from Inventive Studios in Japan. Our next game is the latest in a legendary series. For the first time ever on Xbox, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, huh? <laughs> it's cold! Guess he's too used to the beach. Hey, Islander, what There's can I say? There's a fucking left field announcement. Look, even the sea's turning to ice. Wow. I've never played Kingdom Hearts, so. Watching. Frozen. A walking, walking snowman. You really are alive. <laughs> Hello. 
No. Olaf, are these your friends? No. Hmm? No. Nope. No, Never no. met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's on these spikes. <laughs> It doesn't break the game or anything. That's just like very weird. I, I, I guess it's not weird for Kingdom Hearts, but I guess it was inevitable, wasn't it? Whoa! Ralph yeah. breaks Kingdom Hearts. Ha. Take this. Is it is it all frozen? Is it majority frozen based? Is it frozen featuring oh. Kingdom Hearts? Look out! It's amazing. You can control ice. Control it? No, all I ever do Look out! is hurt people. This is my home now. I can't go back. This is definitely not a final I don't want to hurt version anyone. of the game. Hark! <laughs> Why did they get rid of all the sound effects? It Look sounds out! so weird. <laughs> 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 Oh. oh god, Monster Goofy. <laughs> oh no. Hey, I fuck with Tangle. Wait, didn't she burn Roxas her hair? What's going on? Exist. His heart's Lore. inside my heart. Lore breaking. The other Twilight Town is just data. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. I don't like Sora's voice. Doesn't match her face. This Keyblade. Who's that? Who's that? Mickey. You're too late. <laughs> Mickey in Fallout 76. Mickey dies. Can't believe Mickey fucking dies in Kingdom Hearts. Exclusive. Oh boy. Yeah, how are you gonna rectify this mistake? What are you gonna do? Please. Actual gameplay, maybe? That'd be cool. You needn't cower in the doorway. I actually like meeting new people. Uh, besides, the conversation with my friend here has reached a bit of an impasse. I think you just need a moment to cool off. Now, I sense that you brought me something to inspect. Show me. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh. Cute. Half banana. <gasps> the waves of change roll throughout the seas, and a new land is revealed. The forsaken shores. An island of where only 100 people. Where fire and ash consume all. And from the depths, skeleton crews will rise to curse the seas. An ancient evil set loose upon the Sea of Thieves. You have delivered unto me a portent of two most terrible. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you just wanted uh -huh. to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine, I'll give you ten for it. I feel like that could have been a funnier gag, but uh, what? So it's Sea of Thieves, but they're adding like a new area. Okay. All right. That I, the game itself needs more stuff, not just a new area. It needs actual shit to do. Das ist in our wallet. Deine Terras war 
vakkert og forstyrrende. Da jeg mit som barn fortalte mig historier om skabninger og monstre. Non English dub. Vi ved, at nogen er der ude. Bare fortæl mig hvem det er. He has black heads. Get that nose checked. Exclusive Woo. world premiere. Cars Battle Royale? Uh-huh. Car game. Okay. It's someone. That's for someone. I want one of them to grow a car face. My name's Mater. Welcome to the world of racing. Like the kingdom parts of cars games. Please welcome, from Playground Games, Ralph Fulton. Thank you so much. It is twisted, fantastic to be here today. I am excited to show you the world premiere oh, shit, he's of a Forza git. Horizon 4, set in beautiful, historic Britain. Forza Horizon 4 features dynamic seasons in a shared open world, and seasons change everything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had Let to. me introduce you to some of our team who will be helping <laughs> demo the game That was me, today. that wasn't real. Please welcome Bill, who is online with a few friends in the beautiful English countryside. <laughs> he has chosen the incredible new McLaren Senna. And say hi to Solomon, who is hanging out with his buddies on the streets of Scotland's <laughs> capital, Edinburgh. This is why I shouldn't so be Solomon allowed is to driving stream the Hoonigan things. Ford Focus. And please welcome Andy, <laughs> whose off-road buggy is perfect for taking jumps, scaling rocky terrain, and having fun on the coastline of Britain. But first, let's join Rebecca. She is enjoying the summer in her highly customized Nissan oh my Sylvia. God, this is so awkward. They're just standing around. The sun is out. The sky is blue, and it's the perfect day that for a drive. That sky is white. That's like gray, maybe. Forza Horizon 4 That's Britain is a shared open world. When you play, you play with the entire community. An open world car game? And that game? means the other drivers you meet metal? in the game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real it's people It's like GTA, bring. but you can't get out of the car now. Let's join Bill. I mean, that, I, that could He's be in the cool. same shared world as Rebecca. Driving I just feel like made even more car driving could get boring. On Xbox One X How would the they alleviate that? 60 FPS mode. 60 FPS. Truly the future of the gaming. Nearby. As you can see, 
Horizon 4 is still full the ice can't of see over 30 though fun. and now we're going to show you how seasons change everything in horizon 4 every season changes the world around you with each bringing its own unique beauty is it real time and seasons? unique gameplay Oh, that's cute. They like One of the great things about this shared world is that it's easy to interact with the people you meet. Here, Solomon and Rebecca oh, use I'm sure no one will use racial on the slurs there. To start a new friendship, it looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. I want Horizon an ERP, haha. Let's just seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. Seasons, time of day, and weather conditions are dynamic, but they are synchronized the game's gonna look for like every player. Sixty percent so as good as this. Will experience them at the same time. Don't hit the sheep. Whew. Now, as much as we'd all love to sit and watch the sun go down together, let's see how this scene looks in winter. The entire open world changes beyond recognition. In winter, the lake has frozen solid, and previously inaccessible areas can be reached. The trees have entirely lost their leaves, and snow and ice cover the terrain. The visuals and the driving experience couldn't be more different. And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. Sportsathon Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. And while they head off to the event, I'd like to show you how the world the of Forza thing. Horizon 4 well, actually, looks wait. in wait. spring. Once again, the world changes completely with the seasons, here. bringing new driving experiences, new gameplay, and new events across the whole world. Every season, there are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4, and the huge, creative, fun-loving Horizon community will be there to enjoy them with you. That looks kind of fun. If there's a lot of ramps like that, I could see the open Today, world. Today, you've seen a completely new take on yeah, Horizon. Fun. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world in which dynamic seasons change everything. Your FPS level sometimes Forza is going to be like 4 is coming 3 to Xbox in the winter. One and Windows 10 on October 2nd, and I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on the same day. Thank you so much. Please welcome back. I Bill fucking Spencer. loved Steep, and that game died because it was annoying to find friends, and there was only so much you could do. So, game looks fun, we but not for a long time. That exclusive games from our Microsoft Studios are what originally turned so many of us into Xbox fans. My team and I take our commitment to you seriously. You gamers. To make Xbox One the best place for you to play. Your games. And for you to have the best games on the world's most powerful console. <laughs> Got, yep, this gotta, is why we're increasing our investment in. in our existing franchises that you already love. And this is why we are amplifying our investment in new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. We embarked on a quest, a quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art form. And we found innovative game designers, Master storytellers, exceptional master world lores, lore masters, and now I'm proud to introduce the creation of a brand new Microsoft Studio, mm -hmm. the Initiative, mm -hmm. led by Daryl Gla Gallagher, a visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. What are they doing? This new Santa Monica studio is building a team of world-class talent to create groundbreaking new game experiences. You mean like every game developer next, ever? 
I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studios. This studio caught our attention with their visionary approach to building a zombie survival franchise. They just released their second infestation into the world, and in the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired Playground Games. I'm sorry, okay, I won't do it. I won't this do it. is one of the highest rated studios of this generation, celebrated but for their incredible for card games, craftsmanship. Apparently. Not only will Playground Games continue to work on Forza Horizon, they're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. We can't wait to share more about that later. Today or later? And for the fourth new studio, it's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to Microsoft Studio. Yo, they got Ninja. I met Nina and Tamim Fortnite when confirmed. we collaborated Open on world. Kung Fu Chaos back on the original Xbox. And a minute into playing Woo! Hellblade, you know you're in the hands of master storytellers who are fearless about telling bold cinematic stories. This is a team gifted in creating new franchises. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Compulsion Games. Two years ago, we premiered a game we couldn't get out of our heads. A game that captivated us with its strong, fresh, and intense storytelling. We Happy Few is, released, is, eh. is nearing its full release to gamers it. everywhere. So please help me in welcoming all of our new studios. Bold. By joining us at Microsoft Studios, Finally, we purchased these five Valve new teams Software. We have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger risks. We bought create Disney. Even bolder worlds for you. We bought Truth Tostitos. Is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? <laughs> Have you had your skin? joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets with rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No. It's better not to know. Wiki, wiki, everybody. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington World. Is it a we happy few sequel? Must be. Sorry. Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. It's not a lovely day for it. It's a f***ing terrible day for it. If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. Where is it? Where's the I, black I, I didn't play the Happy Few demo or that. I thought that shit was like two years ago. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. It's been delayed as hell. Well, then that explains it. I, I was confused because I figured it was kind of old. It looks good. Exclusive. Battle? Did I just see the word battle? 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 Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. 
This time it has no bugs. We promised. The textures will actually load this time. You guys want to see what the game will actually look like? This is what it's going to actually look like. I'm pretty proud of myself for that bitrate joke. I've never played PUBG, but I assume there's not usually a snow area. So... World premiere. New map. <laughs> it's the same map, but with snow! <laughs> Game is unfinished! That was me, that was me. <laughs> Anime! <laughs> that was fake cheering. Proportions are very off in the 3D models. The shoulders are very broad. This is animated by. You guys want me to put the bitrate down to 400 again? You don't have to look at it. Vesperia. World Premiere. Washington, D.C. The most heavily protected city on Earth. Within its limits, 177 foreign embassies, 550 elected officials, doesn't have representation in Congress for some reason. military personnel. Oops. In the event of an attack, critical personnel are evacuated. Underground shelters open, while complex defense systems patrol the sky. But nothing stopped the virus. 27 days after patient zero, Washington fell. It began with riots on K Street, then shootings in the National Mall. Troops withdrew to bunkers. Civilians were left in the streets. America is on the brink of collapse. But some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops, their fences patrolled with rifles, in communities that live under constant siege. Survival has taken the form of urban warfare. Centuries ago, on this very soil, the brother fought title? brother, spilling blood to forge the United States. History Everyone. is threatening to repeat itself. Now, in the heat of summer, six months after the outbreak began, a remnant of a corrupt state lurks in the shadows. This feels Ready like an AI created a trailer for a modern video game. Agents of the division. The government ones that you collapsed and people are but how surviving. Do you save a and when they must not die. To not die, you must survive. Wow, what a great trailer. Actual in-game footage, supposedly. Whatever that means. 
Oh, is this that, Anthem? That crash site is just ahead. Yeah. Duke, Kit, did you guys hear that? Yeah. Closer this time. Real gamers, not paid actors. Look at this parachute. I Dropped guess, right through the ceiling. I guess actors are still gamers. Oh, that'll come in handy. The perfect sigh for a real gamer. So you guys are coming, or what? Yeah. There's a severe lack of... Racial slurs and people coughing into the mic right now. Oh, Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, here's the door. Daddy, the Tostino rolls are ready. Fuck you, Mom! I'm playing Anthem! Okay, what the Tostino rolls? Fuck you, Mom! Karpinski, it's the division. Hey, right, let me just talk to this guy. I'm glad to see you. We got a boy here who's gonna die without his meds. Those true sons assholes confiscated him. Okay, meet us at the sinkhole? Yep. Drop the AR or I'm team killing all of us, bitch! Wow. Okay. Definitely from the capital. You should have a new side mission on the map. Hold on, I can't yeah, jump over to the fence. Far. The game's okay, fucking the broken. Side? Sounds good. They're just ahead of us, Matt. Hey, I hear the I bees react to players. Sec. It's innovative technology. Okay, we gotta get you leveled up. I know. New We've age BAI. Been busy. They they swim away if Toxic you get close to them. Detected. A lot of loot down there. Hey, you guys should really check this out. Hey, you Almost should go fuck there. yourself. So that's the control point. Hey, wait for me. Oh crap, they have a tank. Yep, I see him. Don't aggro him yet. Let me adjust my build. Got my crossbow and chem launcher. Yo, is that a girl gamer? Are you a girl gamer? I'm just trying to simulate what real comic would be like in this game. Out. Matt, can you flank them and get a clear shot? I'll take that sniper on top. You do it, bitch. Wait for it. Got her. We were gonna use that on the boss, bitch. Matt, look out! <laughs> Alright, let me try to get that tank off you. Are you a girl gamer? More hey, could you add me? Girl gamer, plane. add grenade, me. Grenade. Dude, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Matt, I need your help. Here's the thing, Over the here. game does look fun. But... Ubisoft. Fucking Ubisoft. They'll make it not fun. Seeker mine out. Whoa! Oh, I'm stuck. Fucking booby stuff. Do you need a little help? Megan, you suck dick. You are bad at video games, Megan. Thanks, Matt. Oh, there's kick. a huge rushing <laughs> through the plane. Exclamation mark vote kick, Megan. Guys. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Got him. I'm down. Yeah, Division hang on, I'll get you. Down. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. Get that weak point. Oh crap, Matt, watch out. Setting my drum. Thank you for the revive, If you Matt. die, I'm not rezzing you, dipshit. I've got this guy behind the tank. Megan, you dumb bitch! Map of the hive, nice. Alright, just lay it on him. Again? Drop down. I'm not oh, resting you this on. time. You deserve ah. to die. You're on your own. Keep going. Good job. Level up. Level 30. Oh. If only the developers Congrats. made this boss Actually, hard, lol. Up. Control point is ours. Nice. You guys nice. wanna check out the plane? Let's go. Level up. Level up gamers. Analyzing ballistic residue. 
looks like a fat. rough landing. Stop talking over me. I'm talking here. Jesus. Whoa, that's nuts. That's a pretty long trailer. Let's check it out. Great idea. Let's just die. So, game plan. Take the capital back. I think we're ready. Hold on, Three, my two, laundry's one, go, ready. Go, go, go. I gotta get my laundry out. God damn it, guys. In a real gameplay, all your friends would like fucking AFK right there for three minutes while you just Please walk around the killing head of mobs. engineering Xbox Game Pass, Ashley Spiker. Mom, I can't pause it. See, the game looks fun. I'm just worried because the developers are known to make fun games not fun. This is a special time for gamers. We've never had so many incredible gamers. games to play. As Story gamers. franchises, uncharted worlds, new releases, and cult classics. Genres we love, and genres we love to explore. There's only one problem. Too often, we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. So we set <laughs> yeah, out to solve that problem. problem. Yeah, and to answer the, the problem, question, yeah. what if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? At once. The answer? Xbox Game Pass, huh. a way to give gamers the ultimate freedom to play. And your response has blown us away. Not only are you playing more games, you are spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice is leading to more discovery, more play, and more fun. And we couldn't be more inspired to keep building and unlocking more for you. So for the last year, we've been working on how to give you faster access to all those games. We leveraged the machine learning expertise <laughs> we have at Microsoft well, and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. And naturally, we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current ready-to-start system, which is manually configured, that was fake. Fast Start uses machine learning techniques based on how gamers actually play games. What? And we have Fast artificial Start intelligence scan better. my brain. As the algorithms and parameters are no algorithm. I'm time. so fucking sick of algorithms, I'm dude. Just let me play Fast my Start games. Will launch for select titles in the June update coming later this month. I've had enough of goddamn algorithms. <laughs> Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. We'll continue Games? to deliver iconic favorites like Halo the Master Chief Collection coming Whoa. later this year. Woo. <laughs> Said one guy. We also plan to release all new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Games? Forza Horizon 4, <gasps> Crackdown 3, Games? and more into the Xbox Game Pass catalog on the same day as their global release. <laughs> I need to turn up that scream right now. Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass library. Games like Ashen, Warhammer I think I figured 2, it out. After Party, and Phoenix Point. Whenever they, all were, whenever they forget their Xbox script, they Game just Pass say games. The same day as their global release. If you get what you need to say, say video games. So that's what's next. But let's talk about what's happening today. Tom Clancy's The Division. The, the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. I would love Unlimited. to, Michael, but I have to drive today, so I can't. <laughs> I'd be and dead after one. Fallout thing. 4. Yeah, Fallout 4! And all of them playable today in Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> the paid actors Thank really you, trying to make his money's worth. Thank you to all of the worth. developers working with us 
to bring freedom of choice to gamers around the world with Xbox Game Pass. Thanks, everyone. The paid actor really wants his money's worth on that stream. Outer Wilds. And then here are the rest of them. Fuck you. Video games. Golf. Is there anything after this or is that like the bulk of the what they got? I'm just living life with a pedal to the flow. Pedal to the flow. I don't feel like so far there's really been anything new. There's the Forza thing, which I guess is a cool concept. Metal Rio. Anthem, I, I, I think it's going to be a good game with shitty development. It's going to be held back. There is that From Software game. That looks kind of cool. Red Cells on Xbox. Exclusive. Skate game! Skate game! Skate game! They said I'm like Bruce Willis, unbreakable, die hard. True sickness, put this mic on the tripod. But yeah. I'm not Chow Yun Fat. Break him, still a pillar of stone. Blows into your I'm actually, I'm down, down for a skate game, but what is it? Imagine you the antelope, and I'm the king of the jungle. Animal instinct, phenomenal stamina. Just think about it. It's the last time, like, a decent vanity. skate game was released. You're not a rapper, you a movie star. Check in who we are. Be the booty star. Skate Battle Royale, please. Uh, I feel bad that those jokes are relevant. Please don't be a remaster. I want a new game. Skate in Venice. It's in me. In MC. That's all we know. The powers that be. It's in you. It's in me. In MC. That's all we know. The powers that be. Give me a name. It's in me. Give me a title. New IP. Exclusive. Okay, I bet. They say you only live once. I beg to differ. I was born three times, and I've met death three times. My first home was Altanova. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. I awoke again in Tarif, village of the sorcerers. I once thought that this would be my true home. Everything changed when I started to ask the forbidden questions. What exactly is the true nature of the Black Stone? What lies beneath the vast desert? Who was it that was calling me from the depths beyond the desert? The world never paid heed to such questions. Looks. They just fought on. Blinded, medieval. And hungered for more Very. and more of the power. Skyrim. It is time that I, at long last, reveal the hidden secrets once and for all. I feel like this is going to create a burnout on medieval RPGs. Like, we keep getting them and they Come look me. If cool, but they don't look learn your true new. Self. Behold, the first thing everyone thinks I of when they see this shit is other games that look the like it, you know? Born from the desert. Uh, MMORPG? Oh. Oh boy.
World Premiere. RuneScape supposedly getting a remaster. Xbox exclusive. It's gonna be the 15th. RuneScape remaster. We've known each other a long time. Hold the line! Hold the line! Nothing can do! You never had this much trouble. You gonna make it through this? They're demons! I've seen them with my own eyes! Red Grave has completely taken over! Let us pray for mercy. It's better be worth your time, Capcom. Hey, honey. Need assistance? Satan may or may hey, not shed you tears. Have to every single bump in the road. <laughs> Gotta <ruin> my crew. <laughs> Cheer up, crew cut. You taking notes? Yeah, that ain't Dante. That's something That's else. That well in our, to something keep terrifying. <laughs> something worse. What? No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? <laughs> it's Dante. My own original Dante. Little badass work is worth every dime, you know it. Cash first. Boy, they really love their sweeping camera angles. Oh my god, I'm going to have a headache. I've got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. Unrelated, but I just realized I have a cousin that looks like. Dead ringer for him. Yeah! EMC5, take that as you will. Please welcome, from Capcom, producer Matt Walker and director Hideaki Itsuno. What is that shirt? It looks like my camp shirt from 2008. Super Adeta, Dry Track Champions. I wait for you for this. Mm. Thank you so much. DMC is back. English, English is hard. Matt, you do it. Of course. It's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is With 100 response, players loud in a single city, only one comes out. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno are back! <laughs> Early on in the development of Devil May Cry 5, we set our sights on creating something that was going to have world-class visuals. So we've scanned fully costumed models for all of our main now characters. Now we fucked up with the, with the reboot, power of Xbox so One X, here we are again. To render them as realistically as possible. Now, while visuals are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. Well, wow, that's some fucking amazing game design. That we made something that feels better Make than any action bad. game we've ever Woo. created. You're breaking the mold. すべてのファンの皆様のために一番の自信作ができました。え、期待してもらって大丈夫です。よろしくお願いします。He's says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because we made it for you, our fans. And we hope you look forward to seeing more. Have a great E3. Exclusive video games. Ethan. 
Top Head 2. What is this? Cup Head DLC? Is it now? Oh. New playable character! Holy shit! This is unfound territory, folks! Chef Salt Break. Oh, I can't wait for the fucking memes of that guy. So many memes. Alright. I, dude, I was fucking down for Cuphead. Exclusive. So much Rule 34 created in five seconds. Crossing. I like his little tunic. Looks cute. too contrasty. But I guess that makes it stand out. It's kind of fun. Like, I'm getting a little tired of, like, the simplistic no-texture style, but this one... Doesn't look bad. Oh, it's literally called Tunic. <laughs> I just thought he had a tunic. I didn't think that was like a important. That tiny fox in a big world is a prime example of the reach of gaming today. A labor of love conceived and created by a single developer in Halifax, Nova Scotia is today commanding single. gaming's largest stage. Whether you're sharing the adventure of a tiny fox with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer, or teaming up with Xbox what? Live friends to slay zombies, gaming is an incredible community. Gaming! We've always believed that building community is vital. Rise up, gamers! Rise up! There's real power in our shared experience. Sharing the same world, Fucking Mixer. the same seasons, the same campaigns. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. This community I is the reason gamer. why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, everything you show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. Gaming, gamers, gamers, gaming, gaming, gamers, gamers, gaming, gamers. From our friends at Bandai Namco. On my last trip to Japan, their creative team showed me a sneak peek at their next game. Now, you get to see Poor the gamer. first look. World premiere. There are worlds that exist separate from our own. Get into the good stuff, right? Where the impossible is reality. Oh no! They what are you doing? To both good. Stop! And evil. Uh, <laughs> These worlds were never meant to meet. <laughs> They're but fucking doing it. Changed. What the hell? <laughs> They're not. Now They're... they have begun Please. to merge <laughs> as one. <laughs> and our last hope. What is are this? The heroes we could only imagine. What am I looking at? To fight for our survival. Please. What? I need to know all of the franchises Bandai has. <laughs> Is this a fighting game? Is this open world? Please, I need to know more. It's gonna be a fucking anime fighter. <laughs> anime battle royale. Anime gamers, rise up. How oh, long have I waited to see Naruto fight Frieza? 
Oh my god. Fucking anime. Jump Force. Shonen Jump. A any- you heard it here. Oh! Ah! Really? Unite to fight. Fucking- Okay. Death Note- Death- yeah! Let's get fucking, uh... Yeah. World Premiere. Is Jojo Shonen? It's been 15 Jojo years DLC. since the fall. <laughs> The city is a corpse, and we are the worms. We burrow in it, fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. I know not who can hear my voice. I shall therefore speak a word unto here. The Anyone same game seven times. Their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. Mirror's Edge 3! And these choices we take to survive will create the world assassin's creed but again you know the drill get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn good night and good love luck. you dying light too i didn't play this please welcome narrative designer chris avalone avalone What region is that? Avalone. Hi, I'm Chris Avalone, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 is everything you'd expect from a bold sequel of the first game. A fluid parkour system with improved natural movement, deep and tactical first-person melee combat, and of course, terrifying nights when the infected emerge from the depths of the city to feed on anyone they can find. At the same time, we invite you to a new vision of the post-apocalypse, a bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern Dark Ages. Looks like a crossover of Today, Tom however, Hanks and Bill Murray. Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2, a technical and narrative advancement for the franchise. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices have genuine consequences in the game itself. From how it looks, how it plays, to the events that occur, everything in the game world can change like based on asshole. your decisions. The following demo throws a bit more light on this. Oh, I get it, light. <laughs> Major Mirror's Edge vibes. But clunkier. Dying Light 2 features a he functioning not ecosystem that. that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. Hope the FOB In the example isn't we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active FOB in the city. Looks they want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult this with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeeper's orders, one way or another. After this, you will start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply allowed the Peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. They poison the water supply. Deacon. There's even running water for the people at street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. 
But do the seasons but change? There's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and Real order. Shit. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side. Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you will have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. Zombies. Something every fucking game needs. Exclusive. More World zombies. A lot of time has passed. You've gotten soft, complacent. It's a superhero you thing. You always knew this day would come. You always knew the three of you would be needed again. You always... Wait, what? Brand new game featuring body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co op, 4K hand drawn 2.5D graphics, and broad non specific feature declarations. They're back. <laughs> How is that exclusive? I was born to fight wars that no army could win. There was no fear. No failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. And no one was ready for it. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. Mm. This is in a war, Rico. This is survival. It's fucking sombra. Won't we'll be getting shot at? Holy time. I played some Just Cause 3. I feel like that visually looks worse than 3. Maybe it's because I played PC. World Premiere. Oh, there it is. Oh. Go! Fuck yourself! No! 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 No, 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 no! Stop! Uh -oh. 
<laughs> it's a mobile game. A mobile. From the Coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. <laughs> Thirteen years ago, when I began my Gears of War journey, we had no idea how big this franchise would become. And as it's grown, we've dreamed of taking it to new places and different ways to reach even more fans. And that's why today we're announcing oh, yeah, even Gears more Pop, fans, yeah. a collaboration with our friends at Funko Expand to bring the a universe. unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. It's mobile, mobile and Funko Pop. It's just we're fucking... Going. I'm excited to also the golden announce ratio. a Gears of War PC experience in a completely different genre. Gears Tactics. You create a whole new squad a new 12 years genre. before Gears of War 1 as they hunt a locust monster maker responsible for destroying whole cities. <laughs> you can hear it's them go off. Oh. You can genre hear that. That wasn't a sound effect, story, guys. They action, the actual audience gameplay, just grown. A customizable squad and equipment. And of course, it wouldn't be a Gears game without a massive boss battle. We look forward to sharing more about tactics with you soon. But it's not just about going to new places. No. It's also about having new experiences. Just be fucking and the done with it. Just walk up stage. Working hard to bring you our most ambitious Gears Award title yet, Gears 5. <laughs> let it die. Let it just let it die. As Kate, no way this is the most ambitious. Have you seen Kate, the first two games they just the showed? Biggest, the most beautiful world we've ever created. You can't top with that. The war for humanity escalates on two fronts, outside the capital city and within Kate herself. In this moment from the game, Kate leads a rescue message to a remote village. Show but don't something tell. something goes horribly wrong. You should have started with Gears 5. What the fuck? Just. Whatever. Kate. No, 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 Kate, Kate, you can't see this. You don't want to see this. Why do they have nipple slots for their armor? for like breast milking but why is this Sorry. guy breast milking breastfeeding thanks or breast milking for coming here of course can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here hey just slow down no Foz is right we need to move what are you talking he's dead man give her a minute she'll get her a minute in the raven what the hell is wrong with you? Now we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No! no. It's a Funko Pop. Absolutely not. Factory. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you're coming back to North Fira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain. Sure would like to see some screw gameplay. Screw your order. Huh? This isn't about you. It's about me. I'd like to see the game. I need to fix this. Hey, watch her. A necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. 
But what if it's not her choice? It's usually not a good sign if they don't want to show you the gameplay footage. Just saying. Yeah, if you don't know anything about Gears of War, which I don't even know that much, this is just where like... Where are we going? Back to where it What do I began. care? It's not like it looks exceptional. The Tomb Raider announcement looked pretty much exactly the same. I've seen, I've played almost all the gear games and still have no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> There's your testimonial. Look, gameplay. Without a HUD, apparently. And probably twice the texture resolution as they will on release. my voice up a bit and it down a bit definitely needed to hear about the Funko Pops first in the entire history of Xbox in the entire history of E3 in the entire history of our industry and gaming. Gaming is now. <laughs> Today, we shared our commitment to giving you the freedom to discover and play all of the great new games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Today, we showcased more games than we ever have before. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, games. and 15 world premieres. Could you say it four more times? Because I, don't, I think someone Today, in the back didn't hear. we shared our most diverse gaming portfolio in every measure. From breadth and art style, genre and cultures. Yeah, your art styles were very, setting, scale very and story diverse. And scope and creative vision. And every one of these plays best on Xbox. The world of gaming is on an historic growth path where the increasing number of gamers is met with the increasing creative gamers, power gamers. in this significant moment. We are constantly challenging ourselves. Where can we take gaming next? Our answer? We commit and harness the full breadth of our resources at Microsoft to deliver on the future of play. Our experts in Microsoft research are developing the games, future of gaming AI. games. So the worlds and characters we enjoy will be even more rich and more immersive. AI. Our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network to unlock console quality gaming on any device. <laughs> console is your bar Not of quality. Only that, uh, we are dedicated uh, to perfecting uh, your experience everywhere. You so Steam Link, play. basically? On your Xbox, your PC, or your phone. And of course, our hardware team. The same team that delivered unprecedented performance with Xbox One X is deep into architecting the next Xbox consoles, where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. And it's let's talk about our blank games statement. We are committed to building an industry-leading first-party studios organization. And as you saw we earlier, we are making another are console making one eventually. Of our greatest single-year investments okay. in teams by adding five new creative studios. We have committed our team, our company, our technical resources, so we can declare to you today and next year and all of the years after that you will always experience the best in gaming it's on such Xbox. a fucking empty statement 
we will make video games so and video game, game consoles. To to there are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made, and legends to become. Together. Thanks, and have a great evening. Oh. Been here all along. It's the fifth part of the Sombra arc, guys. Oh my god. Hacks. Watchdogs? In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Ready Player One? Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie. An illusion. But it's there. Just around the corner. And it keeps you going. It's, uh... it's a city of dreams. And I'm a big dreamer. Infamous? It feels like that Microsoft AI developed a game trailer, and this is what came out. Cyberpunk 2077. So it comes out in like 40 years. Coming. 48 years from now. Yeah, no release date. You think you wanna play now? You think you wanna play now? I will say honestly, this is my playground. I didn't really expect any games to give a shit about, but there's, there's two or three that I want to know about. Not that one, though. I'm, I'm waiting till it, like, ends so I, they don't fucking pull something out again. Games. Gaming. Gamers. Gears. Gamers game. It's just what we do. Is that it? Is that, that it? Yep. That was, uh... That was the Microsoft EA, or Microsoft E3 presentation. Time for Sony. I will say, uh, the From Software, I can't remember the name of it, the, the Samurai game looked kind of neat.
the skate game caught my eye. <laughs> the anime game was, I didn't expect that shit. But by far, the top of the food chain is probably Gears of War Funko Pop Mobile Edition. Shockingly, n uh, no Battle Royale. PUBG. Still not, still not completed, by the way. Just, they, they just announced that it's on Xbox. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. It was certainly something. Hold up. Uh, so I actually need to prepare to end the stream. Because I gotta leave the house at 6. But, so I might not be- if I- I think I'll do the long dark tonight. Probably later. But I actually- I can't stream anymore. So, I don't want to be late. But, honestly... <laughs> There, there was more out of that than I expected. I, I figured it would all be fucking memes and nothing of interest. I figured... Not that. Stop forgetting it's Sunday. Well, I'm not- if, it, if I get back tonight at like 10 or 11, I don't think there's a point in doing Minecraft. Because it's gonna be so late. But... I, I, the, the Todd Howard presentation was out of fucking left field. I didn't think... He would just come out and like drop. It's such a Todd Howard thing to do. So. Good for him, I guess. You play the piano? Yeah, but not as well as you would think I could. I just own it. Because it's useful. Sadly, I'm most interested in the Cuphead DLC. That too. Although I wasn't really counting that as like a new game. I just figured that was an add-on. IRL stream? No, just, just closure. What about the guitar? Yeah, I play that. Better than I do the piano. You gonna stream Jump Force when it comes out? Maybe. <laughs> Depends. Is that a naked furry poster in the background? No, that's just like a girl with a flower. No one noticed this in I any of my Pokemon streams? No. I, I, nobody fucking noticed that the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I am still looking forward, but that's just going on tonight, so I probably won't be streaming coverage of that because I won't be home. If I am, I will. If not, uh, that's probably going to have some interesting stuff for H2 and Fallout 76. I still want to know what 76 is. They showed gameplay, and it's like, okay, it looks oh, it looks nice, but what's what's the game? Is it online? Is it a battle royale? I don't think it is. It seems like it's just... It seems like it's just a Fallout game. May that it would be nice if it was a good, just a normal good Fallout game. But we'll see. Fallout hype. What did it do to you? This? I had to grow up with this. It fucking like would sit in the corner and stare at me while I slept. Brought me tons of nightmares growing up. That's like the original Pikachu. That's not the fucking thin one. That's like 1999 dumbass fat ass Pikachu. So, he's been around haunting my dreams for a while. They'll obviously reveal more. Yeah, I'm not saying they won't. I'm just saying I I need... I, I want to know more. But yeah. Uh, I, I, I really... I'd love to sit around and talk about it. Because there are like... I could go into detail on my opinions on some of those games. Like the, the Ford, Forza, the, the open world car game, looked interesting. I just... A lot of those games, they see, they're the kind of games that are popular for two weeks on on YouTube and then they die and then no one plays them anymore, you know? And I'm kind of worried that's what it's going to become. Same with Anthem. It's because Ubisoft made Steep, which is like a, a, a snowboarding game, I guess, and skiing. And that's a fun game, but the community's dead. It's really hard to play with friends. And I'm worried that that's what's going to happen to Anthem. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. Is that a Shovel Knight amiibo? No. It is... A Funk amiibo. Which is now outdated. Because... I should probably call her up again and ask her to make a new one. Since that... I'll, I'll get her to make a... The person who made it. I can't remember the name right now, but uh... Get her to like turn Kirby into Bomby or something. Looks good. Or if they make bomb -om, bomb 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 amiibos. Maybe I can get one of those. Looks like Shovel Knight. Yeah. 
Uh, again, I, I just like, I found like, it was on like, Etsy or something. There was just a random FT shop of custom amiibos, so I gotta do some. She follows me on Twitter now, so I should be able to hit her up. I'll, I'll send you it later. But yeah, uh, next stream I'll probably talk more in detail on my opinions, but I can't right now, so. Gotta get ready. Cyberpunk will hopefully be good since it's from CD Projekt Red. It looked, it looked cool. I don't know anything about it, but... I am kind of worried just because... My main stipulation through most of the conference was like... Yeah, they're cool, but... A lot of them blend together, both visually and in setting. So hopefully they... They don't fall into that margin. I'll hit you up with that link. What about the Minecraft stream? It will be tomorrow, Monday, Monday night. It won't be midday. I, I think it'd be kind of fucked up to do that mid Monday, but I won't. I won't be here tonight in a few hours to do it. So, or if I do, it'll be late. So yeah, that's stream over. Wrong one. There it is. What's this? What's this now? Tony Hawk Pro Skater Timeline. Pro Skater, Pro Skater 2, 3, 4, 5. Or Underground to 2 to Ride. Alternate Universe <laughs> Skate Adventure. So that's a good meme. I'm glad you sent this. I actually am. Like, I, pr I don't think I talk about it much on stream just because there's no reason to. But I actually really fucking loved skate-based games when I was younger. I played a lot of, like, Skate 3 and the Tony Hawk Underground so, I, I don't own an Xbox right now, but I'd like to, I'd like to know more about what, what that is. Witcher 4 announced? No. You wish. Just got here. Bad timing. Is that Michael Sarah in the middle? Do you mean... The... Do you mean Project, what is that, 8? Project 8? No, it just looks like him. You, should, you and I should stream some fucking Thug Pro. I'll hook you up with it. It's a cool-ass Tony Hawk Underground 2 mod. I, don't, I have not heard of that. Yeah, let's do it. Dude, Tony Hawk Underground was just fucking legit, you know? Alright. So just for clarification, I'm either streaming tonight, later, or just tomorrow. But not, not, not 8 o'clock. Me and Ant play it. He's way into the community. Right on. Well, uh, I'll hit you up after stream about that. But for now, I'm off. Enjoy E3. Hopefully Bethesda actually gives us some more tangible information. Hopefully Nintendo does as well later in the week. I mean, if Microsoft can leave me, like, kind of happy, then... That must mean good for the others. Yeah, bye.